episode 103, Return of the Mac. Welcome back. You're what it is. Where T.I. is. We gotta, <laughs> we're trying to name the continents before this. and Were you drunk up in this moment? None of us knew all of them. I knew all. I know my fucking continents. I was Go close. Ahead. I was close. Yeah. I know my continents, dog. Go right. ahead. North America, South America, um, Antarctica, mm. Australia, mm. Europe. Like um, you know, like Asia, you know, second ago. Africa. Those are all the continents, right? I there. wasn't even listening to you. I don't know. That's it. Who you got? It? Central is a part of North America. Yeah, Central is not its own continent. Yeah, that's so, why I, I knew that, bro. I knew that. <laughs> See, I know that shit. <laughs> when I said it, you were like, is it? <laughs> no, I was like, I ain't never heard of that one before. I ain't never heard of that one. But they added some shit, you know. Whatever. No you know, plate shift and stuff. Things could have. We didn't know them, but if they want to claim they did, that's cool. I didn't know them. Hmm. I still don't know them. Hmm. I don't need to know them. Man, um, you're international now. You got to know them, bro. I know, I know the two places <laughs> that I need to know. That you need to know? I would like to you know, step foot on every single continent before really? I go. That would be tough. It would be, be nice to, to say you did something possible. that you did. It's possible. Yeah, it's definitely something doable. It's somewhere... Yeah, I would like to. I mean, especially Africa. That's a a place I would definitely want to go. But where in Africa, I don't fucking know. It's like the largest continent in the world, or whatever. But um, <laughs> I don't know where exactly I would go in Africa. But I, I definitely want to go somewhere in Africa one day. Just to say you've done it. Um, I mean, it's, you don't even have a certain place in mind. It seems like it's just one day. It's it, it, it's it's gonna it's gonna happen. Okay. And whatever that place is, it, it'll find me before I find it. I don't that's feel you again. <laughs> this dude is retarded. What you mean? I don't care nothing about stepping foot in all the continents. That It'd be nice. That one's not for me. It'd be nice. You don't want to go to like Europe and shit and see like your family? No. No. I'll see like your family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was what made me say no. I was gonna, yeah, I mean, sure, I'd love to go to Europe, see I guess. Like your family. But to see the family? No. Yeah, if he would say that about Africa. Yeah. That would be the whole situation. <laughs> I'm sure I got some family. I don't know if there might be like, might be no, no sure. words there, but uh, it might be some distant cousins or something. I don't know. So some Desi cousins? Distant, distant no, cousins, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was drinking. I was saying that you was Indian. I didn't, I didn't see this starting this way. This is a, right. this is a good, good start. We all the rails early. How did we get there? I don't, I don't know. I guess we were talking about the continents. Continents and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are Australia, you, are you man. Are going to go to Africa? I would. You want to go to them? Australia? I would. I don't that sounds care. like a fucking I, great time. I'm saying all these places sound cool. Like I'm sure it would be fun to check out, but to check out all seven seems like a lot of work. For I'd rather just go to different places. Yeah, I mean, I'm look, not trying to go hit hit Antarctica to say that. I oh, see, I, I I would leave that off my list. Right, I can leave that one off my list. So you don't want to see all. <laughs> Maybe not all seven. I go to Africa twice. Changing facts. I go to Africa twice. How about that? Go to Africa twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check that off the list. That's kind of how I would handle that situation. The world is huge, man. There's a lot of places. It is a lot of places. There's a lot of world out there. Shit, there's a lot of world I haven't seen in the United States. In Lynchburg. Yeah, right. (laughs) This new place, you'd be like, damn, I didn't see that. I didn't know this street was here. Yeah. I didn't know these apartments was back here, man. What the hell? In the cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just wild. What's going on this week? We had a short week. Yeah, yeah. Happy Juneteenth. Fuck yeah, man. National Federal Holiday. Holiday. What's up? Sounds like it's in the works. I don't know if it's officially done. No, it's stamped, right? Joe Biden tweeted it. That's why a lot of jobs are off for the three-day weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would imagine that was built in at the beginning of the year. They just changed it two days ago? Didn't they just make it? No, they've been working on it since last year, I would think. I don't know. Happy Juneteenth. It's a holiday. It's It's a holiday. It's a holiday. It's on my calendar now. There you go. So it's official. It's locked in. Yeah. Made it a short of course, week for us. That was Even nice. though every day is yeah. a day at this point. <laughs> every day is a day. For real. You are right. Every day is a day. <laughs> you know, like a special day. Like, you can look that shit up. Every day is like, oh, this is socks day. I hate that twins, shit, bro. Yeah, it's like fucking, every day is And then it catch you off guard. All Everybody's fucking posting, like, National Siblings Day and shit. You're like, oh, who the fuck made this shit up? It's at least seven days of the Freak Jones National Fuck Day. They got one of those? Yeah, they do. Oh, well, they got a national day for everything. It's wild. Siblings comes around multiple times a year. That's how you know it's bull. 
Yeah, yeah, all of that shit it is. It's the Fourth Sisters Day now. Right. right. It's July. Right. What are yeah, we they got a fucking National Sons Day, National Daughters Day, all of this shit. It's getting out of hand. Father's Day is this weekend, too. It is. What's up, Father's Day? Yeah, yeah exactly. same day as June 10th. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, happy Father. What the day June after? 18th or whatever. It's day tomorrow. After. Yeah, you're Father's Day is Sunday. I'm blacker than you, bro. Huh? Father's Day is Sunday. I'm blacker than you. What's tomorrow? Today's the 17th, right? Today's the 18th. Today's the 18th. Oh, shit. Damn. My bad. You're all messed up. <laughs> oh, yeah. All messed up. Oh, damn. Oh, my bad, my bad. Fuck y'all, man. Fuck y'all. We was trying to get you right, bro. But anyway, oh, yeah, happy, happy Father's Day, bro. You take you to Happy Father's Day. You know, and and both of y'all just be saying Happy Father's Day to me. Here we go. Where is it at? Show us some love. Where is it at? <laughs> Where? I hate this motherfucker. Where is it at? Where is it at? Why, why show us some love. Come on. Come on, man. Why would Just go ahead and say it on the mic one time. Yeah, Say it on the mic one time. Oh, Stop oh, talking to me, bro. Stop talking to me, bro. I'm drinking your Dunkin' Donuts coffee. You're the youngest one in here. <laughs> I'm the grownest one in here, bro. Look, I, look, I got boy. two children. That, that at least makes me, again, about 38. I um, mean, that makes you reckless. 38. <laughs> you <old. laughs> You know, look, I bring my pistol in the club. Shooting it up. I ain't shysty. <laughs> Word shysty. I don't make you a father either. Uh, Same, bro. Let's Shoot the club up. Well. That's what I do. Makes you an inmate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you. Um, what are y'all doing for Father's Day? Uh, I ain't doing nothing. Probably chill. Shit going on. Nothing. Doing shit around. Relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Nobody gives a uh, gives a fuck about Father's Day. Well, we're gonna chill. Put some shit on the grill and chill in my dad's house and stuff like that. You know, I've seen something that said like, uh, "Man, they shit on fathers, dog." I seen something that's like. Uh, <laughs> It's like the twentieth ranked holiday, and Mother's Day is like number two. Who ranking these? I don't know. I, I, I think well, they holidays just are, are like based on like anyway. consumers and like or consumerism and stuff like, like that. Sales. Yeah, like Christmas is number one. There's no way it's two. Mother's Day is two. There's no way. Yeah, what? So. Christmas, well, Christmas well, and Valentine's gotta be higher. Valentine's would be, gotta be higher. Probably be right afterwards. How? Because there's people love their mother more than their significant other. That's true, but what you spend, and you what will you probably spend get. on your significant other, and not every significant other is a mother. Maybe not, but not every mother is a significant other. But everybody got a mom. No, no not really. Got confusing. No, no that's, that's, everybody that's got a mom. That, and sometimes got, people get everybody everybody got a mom. Sometimes they give. Right, right. Everybody <laughs> has a mother. I'm not buying it. I'm telling you, bro. Second. This is wild. Second. What a time. That's everything, though. There's always women and the kids first. That's it. It's always. We always man. last. Just got to accept it. Yeah, I got it. It is what it is. It's cool. I don't, I don't you know, wish for anything or need anything, but I'm just Good. saying. I'm you didn't give me a gift, son? Nah, negative. Damn, bro. Son. Negative. Dang, bro. You really carrying this shit right He's now. Trying. <laughs> He's trying. He's just trying to continue that joke, but what happened this week? Anything happened this week worth mentioning? Yeah. Um, Back to work, man. Oh, oh gosh, back on my the little, line. How my was little, that? Uh, hibernation or hiatus is over, and um, I actually, it's, it's not bad. Honestly, kind of, I need structure in my life. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, really, I realize that. I need, I need that routine need in my life. life. Otherwise, it's always I'm good like, to have structure. I lay around and shit, and it's too late to do anything. Type thing, or <laughs> you know, like it's uh, easy to get set in them ways. Right, right, right. So I need some structure <laughs> in my life, and just walking back into it, it was like you know uh, more familiar, I guess. So it was like riding a bike, just kind of get back into your daily routine. Of, the swing of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work, work, work. All that shit. But, it feels so nice not having to do anything for a day. But man, with no routine for weeks. Weeks. That's right. a long time to just be right. going whatever. Right. I feel right. you. Tell Sitting around binge watching yeah. shows. Yeah. Yeah. Stay doing that. Binge watching shows and shit. That's pretty much. Anything good? Uh, no, I mean, nothing recently. Uh, nothing recently. I've been watching a lot of Married at First Sight. You know, my girl watched that a lot. <laughs> It's a good show. You watch that? Yeah. That's a good show, bro. I it's just, I can't I can't those are crazy. Bro. I that could, shit is stupid. I could see me getting 
Yeah, I just don't understand it. Funny still. It's, don't it's understand hilarious. It. It's just like, they just I mean, agree you got to have some balls to, to, to even sign up for that shit. They just agreed to get married on first sight no matter what. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Balls, you, the audacity. Of you, like, never, you don't see them until you get to the altar. Yeah, marrying somebody you've never met in your life and then... Being surprised y'all got issues and shit. Right. Yeah, like the right. show was meant for but drama. Some, like you know people, it's gonna be issues. Some people do work <laughs> out. Some people do end up working out, but it's like the it's experts that that match you. They take oh like a yeah, do like a personality test and all of that stuff, and they match people together. But I mean, some people just have you realize why they're single. Yeah, you you realize why they like, had to y'all do like something. Y'all like all the same things. They can right. still get on your fucking you, nerves. You, right. you realize why? <laughs> like they had to do something this extreme to find someone. Right. It's yeah. like, oh, bitch, you crazy, or <laughs> dude, you you a liar. Right. Like, I, this is one dude on the last season we just watched. Like, he was lying to the point where it didn't it didn't matter. Like he was saying he was a yoga oh, teacher. A liar. He, this dude said he was a yoga teacher and he, he taught yogurt some a uh, yoga teacher. <laughs> <and> he taught <laughs> yogurt. No, not yogurt. A yoga teacher and he and he taught like a class three times a week and he invited his wife to the class. Motherfucker won't even there <laughs> and, and nobody had ever heard of him oh when God. she got there. And she asking for like his base salary and stuff. He even, like forged an offer letter from this job where. In the offer letter, it's it's equating taxes and oh, all yeah, this. Oh, he's a con artist, but he's yeah, really it, bad at it. It was like, <laughs> where in the offer letter have you ever seen some a job show you like the taxes that they will take? No, it's just they give you a base salary and trying too hard, right? To trying way too bit. hard, and he outsmarted himself. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's a hilarious, hilarious scene uh, watching that because you almost feel uncomfortable for the guys, like. Bro, I mean, you so lied. Like the Bro, whole she world. already agreed to marry you without knowing you. Like, you're doing too much. Right. You doing all this? right, you can just be yourself at this yeah, point. Yeah, just be yourself, bro. Just be yourself. She's also desperate. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all both in the same situation yeah, right yeah. now. But, uh, we watch a lot of that shit, though, when man. When does that come on? That's wild. Um, it's a lifetime show, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Don't hate, brother. Don't hate. <laughs> they go, hey, yo, she got you, bro. She yeah. got you sucked in. But it's like he wants a, he wants a happy Father's Day for us. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Lifetime is all right. Life, the movies I ain't for, but the TV shows, the little reality shows be all right. It'll be all right. Keep trying. Lifetime that. movies all the same. Keep trying Can't to push it. it. Keep trying to push it on us. All right, well, hey, I don't know. Married at first sight. I've been on this motherfucking sit, uh, city on the hill. It's a good fucking show. What is that? Who is it now? Uh, Kevin Bacon. Kevin, Kevin Bacon, Bacon. Oh, he, like. Fucking, he old as shit now, right? Like dirty he's dancing, old. Kevin Kevin Bacon. <laughs> yeah, he's old. That would be the Kevin Bacon. Movie. Yeah, why would you go to that one? Like, <laughs> is that, right. was he right. was he a dirty dancer? Yeah, that's his favorite movie. No doubt. I watched yeah. that shit a bunch when I was growing up. But but dirty anyway, dance. This is a good ass show, Boston <laughs> show. Fucking <laughs> 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 dirty dancer. What dance. is it? Dirty dancer. That's the only thing I can think of. That he was in. Right. He's just playing an FBI agent, like a rogue person. rogue FBI agent doing wild shit. Trying to, you know, do a bunch City of on the shit. Hill? City on the Hill. Oh, okay. It's yeah. a good name. Yeah. Hill City. Yeah. Okay. Not as good. Not as good. <laughs> Not as good. <laughs> Not as good. Damn. Yeah, City on the Hill sounds kind of fun. All right. Fire. All right. I'm going to have to check that out. What is it on? It's on Showtime. Showtime. Mm, I got, got Showtime. You ain't got Showtime. I got Showtime. You got Showtime money? Yeah, I got Showtime. Oh, you're big time. I got that for free. You're big time. That's the Dave show spot back up? Who? Dave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm I'm check first two episodes out. out. Two? Yeah. Nice, nice. I know the first season was That's hilarious. It was so fun. Yeah. yeah. It had so me like fun. busting out laughing. That's how you done. Yeah. It's a great yeah. show. I'm gonna have to check it out for yeah, sure. Yeah, same. I have to get back on Hulu. I didn't watch anything really other than playoff stuff. I just keep getting, I just keep getting fatter though. Bro, I just keep getting fatter and older. Just walking to the club. Bro. Yeah, man. We here. I think I just hit like the point in life where like I've been a pretty decent looking dude my whole life. Mm -hmm. So I used to be able to use that in my favor. I'm just now starting to realize like relatively soon that's not gonna be an attribute I can use. You're just gonna be a dude. Yeah, you're just be a guy. You gotta get funnier. You're not exactly. You gotta get funnier. I was thinking I gotta get funnier. Smarter is probably right, right, to right, add right, to the right, list, right, but right. like I don't have more too money. many more years. You just get more money, you good. Yeah, that's that's funnier true too. seems easier. <laughs> funnier is easier. Funnier seems easier. Funnier is more I just easier. I'm starting to realize that. We're at the point, like, crossing over that it's it's going to be quicker to just getting uglier and fatter than I'm just going to go start working out and, and get back. Right. I think I'm starting to give up on that. Yeah. One, one of these days, I'm, I'm going to 
you know, shift my life backwards. But uh, I've been saying that for two years. Yeah, same for me. Yeah. I need to get one, one of these days is gonna happen. This is just my time right now. I understand. I accept that. This is my time. Time of rest. Yeah, yeah, right. That's it. It's my time. Okay. To to you know be fat and 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 fucking bask in it. And so you know, basking, <laughs> basking Robbins. <laughs> yeah, right. right. A lot of that. You think it's gonna get better as you get older? You'll have more energy to. Yeah, get for sure. Shape for sure. Stuff. For sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, you're still in denial. Gonna, you have no, no. It's, it's seriously that's what's gonna happen, bro. I'm gonna it's gonna click one day, and I'm gonna you know get back into beast mode, and be in the best shape of my life. Okay. That's that's the plan. Have you accepted it, or are you just? No, I need to get back, bro. I kind of accept it, but I know I need to, I need to tighten it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's why I'm at that too. I'm so out of shape. It's terrible. It's been over a year since I was, like, really grinding. Yeah. I was doing good We used to do that hooping every week. You need to bring that shit back. Every you said week, that the other bro, day. Bro. I was like, yeah, let's go hoop, bro. Fuck. All right, well, this week. This <laughs> week, I'm back on. Once I'm back in the office, I'll be yeah, back yeah, to yeah. playing ball a couple of days after work, at least. Yeah. I yeah, I mean, that's all we need to do. But that's what kind of physical activity. That's what made me realize it. I'm going to die out there. Yeah, it's, it's going to hurt. Be it's so hurt. hurt. I want to be re- exhausted in 10 minutes. Facts. That's the plan. And the shots are just going to get worse and worse and worse once that happens. You're going to look a lot like uh, Embiid in the second half, huh? Yeah. The second half of game four, I believe it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, let's talk about it. Something was wrong with him that game, I think. We well, had knee issues. Well, he always playing hurt. True, true. It <laughs> seemed like it was really bad. He was 0 for 12 in that second half of game four. That was crazy. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it's Home nuts. Be, though. Huh? Blame the rest of the team other than him yeah, and Curry. I don't either, honestly. <laughs> well, no. They were the, the only two that scored. We're talking about the game prior to that, though. Second half? I think no. that's the same one. That, no, no, that's not. You're talking, talking about game five. They lost. They you're talking about game five league. where they're the only two that well, scored. That, that game, he had like 17 and 23. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, when you get 20 plus rebounds, you got to do it something. Who and B? Yeah. <laughs> but still, I mean, I think it's nuts. I think it's nuts he didn't score in, in the second half at all, especially when you're a seven footer. It's like, damn, you couldn't. Do a layup or something to like two points? The answer was no. It, it seems <laughs> it seems like highly unlikely that you could shut out a player the size and caliber of Embiid, or he can even shut himself out. Not saying anybody like beat him up, but like uh, something wouldn't roll into the rim, a <laughs> tap in or something. Right. Hard for to Embiid. imagine going over twelve. Right, his right. Size. At his size, at, at some point, because I, I saw he had. Of course, he, he takes threes and stuff like that, but he had a lot of misses inside the paint, and you just don't expect that. But to me, I mean, I think uh, I'm a fan of Embiid, like, to an extent. Like, I like him, but I think personally that Embiid should be, like, a second fiddle on a team. I think uh, he ultimately needs somebody to carry the team consistently through four quarters, and he should play in, like, or, you know, you should get Embiid and, like, burst. I don't think he's a, a guy who can carry a team legitimately for uh, four quarters consistently. No, I don't think it be the problem at all. I don't mean that. I think we said who the problem was fucking Ben Simmons. I he's think really no, the them together is a problem. I don't, it's, it's neither <laughs> or. It's just they don't fit together uh, to – that's what I'm saying. Play. When you're saying it like Embiid because he can't carry. When you're getting 30, 40, and 10 a night, like, well, how much are you expecting a big man to do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get that, but I'm just saying that's all. That's all we do. I feel like always down the stretch, it's been consistent that, you know, Embiid is, is either fatigue, injury, or something that, that, that ails him from being able to, like, I don't know, go, get over the hump or. Really, like, like I said, dominate the team for four quarters consistently. I, you just don't really see it, especially over his playoff history. I think they just had a, he. I think he just had a bad game in Game Four, and B did, like you said. I mean, it, it, it doesn't make sense to not be able to make a basket, a basket the whole second half. But yeah, bad shooting. It is what it is. It was a terrible game for him. Um, but he's balled out the whole rest of the series and was killing it the last game. Mm-hmm. I, I hate trying to figure out who's the, who's the blame. Like there was only one person, but I'm just gonna jump on the Doc Rivers bandwagon because to blow back to back games the way that they did in the fourth quarter with huge leads, and they just seemed like suddenly they couldn't even get a decent shot in both of the fourth quarters. It was it was it makes no sense why yeah. why they're down three two right now. So if I have to jump on somebody to take the majority of the blame, That's a fact. I'm gonna kind of 
default to him, but I have no idea. I mean, they just have choked. They just I can have choked it so bad. I, can I think they the stole in the series. Give him a, uh, you know, give him a little leeway in the past because injuries or whatever happens or whatever. Right. But this year, it's like, all right, like the last game specifically, they was up by like 20-something in the third quarter. Yeah. And he sat the starters for like eight straight minutes or something. Like too. almost the whole third, he it sat them. like eight minutes He put them back, the starters the back in when it was cut down to 11 and they was on like a 15-0 run or something. Yeah. It's like, bro, you can't do that. Like a 20-point lead in a playoff game is not really that serious if you don't hold it down. You can't get that that much time of your starters on the bench and then let them come back. Right. Well, you know, they <laughs> said he's uh, he owns like five of the biggest blown leads in playoff history. Yeah, the last 12. Five or six of them was double digit leads. They lost. So that's, the why hate, six. That's, that's why I hate to blame him because it's so easy because right. of the history. But right. at the same time, it's something you're doing. How many times do you do that before? Those last two was definitely you got to put right. something on him. Yeah. Yeah. So I start how looking at you situation. and saying, like, uh, once or twice, you're like, uh, <laughs> right. but three, four, five times, you're like, uh, it's something consistent going on here that, I mean, I don't know if it's maybe like the, the way he talks. To the yeah. team when they get in these positions, oh, yeah. that causes them to relax or it's so. Uh, and he's kind of enabling Ben going. too. The way he's defending Ben's bad free throw shooting, it's like, yeah, you might not, you probably <laughs> might shouldn't pull him for the half second half of the games, but a lot of the time he shouldn't be out there, especially in, in clutch moments in the fourth quarter. He I shouldn't mean, be I, out there. I was thinking <laughs> that when, when they were up like eighteen, and once they start fouling. Right, exactly. And once they start fouling and it's you, and you have a big them. lead, I don't see why you wouldn't take him out for two, three positions. Because not only least. is he going to miss them, but you're stopping the clock. So you're giving right. the team more time to come back. <laughs> I honestly forgot how bad he was shooting from the free throw. Week? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 32% this series or something like that. Cool. I couldn't remember which one was at 30, whether it was 32. him or him or. Uh, no, yeah, it's, it's thirty two percent or something like that. That's bad. Which is, I mean, give me shots, and I don't, I don't know what's up with Ben Simmons, man. Um, it's just a player who's never developed, and it's just the strangest thing in the world. Like you see somebody he's never developed this shot. I don't think that's fair. Beyond that, well, I mean, he's a good player. I'm not saying he's a bad player, but he's the same player he was in college. At this point, and that's what I'm saying. Where he's never developed, he's like. We knew coming out of college that all Ben Simmons needed to do was develop a jump shot, and he was going to be like a LeBron esque type player. That's what, or at least a uh, Magic Johnson type, you know, off size point, and handle, right? Size, handle. size, handle, court vision. Yeah. All you needed was a, a mid range game, a jump hook, or I mean, he he does have that, but um, not a mid range game. He doesn't yeah. he does. He doesn't stretch the floor a bit or even he attempt to. He has an offensive game. Yeah, yeah he, he does doesn't have an offensive package. Like, yeah. His offensive game is to drive to the hole as hard it's as possible. It's almost Giannis like. He doesn't even do that. It's almost Giannis like except he's more but better he's, around the rim. He, he's, he's only looking speed. to pass when he has the ball. And he right. scores yeah. off of alley-oops, fast breaks, and putbacks. Like He right. literally doesn't have a move that he could go try to get a bucket. Right. Yeah, yeah, That's it's crazy. It's, it's uh, right. He's been in the league long enough now to where, I mean, you would think at this point Ben Simmons, as much as he was hyped up uh, coming out originally, he should be a dominant player. My issue with with him coming out of LSU was simply I didn't I didn't feel like Ben Simmons was necessarily a winner because LSU didn't even qualify for the tournament when he was there. Mm. Uh, but I knew he had like a great skill set. But I mean, it's just sad that he, he hasn't at least developed some part of his offensive game. To where he's a threat at all. He's uh, he's more scared than anything. Like he almost doesn't drive to the basket and go up because he doesn't want to get to the free throw line. Yeah, because he knows it'd be a waste of possession. That certainly is the truth. So yeah, and then I feel like people don't really put the pressure on Ben Simmons as much as they should. Like the media pressure, or like the scrutiny. I feel like uh, somebody like Lonzo Ball got so much more. Maybe because it was because of Levar, of course, like hyping him up. Exactly. But I mean, Ben Simmons was number one overall pick, and at least Lonzo has developed. Like, I feel like if they traded Ben Simmons for Lonzo Ball, the 76ers would, I mean, yeah, the 76ers would be way better. I um, think Ben Simmons gets, gets some of that, though. He gets a lot of talk. I mean, I feel like he should be the process for five, five six years more. now. I think people are like, all right, well, when is this process going to pan out? <laughs> it's, I mean, I, I just can't see him developing at this point. If he, if, if he hasn't yet, it's like, it, 
it's hard to assume that he would ever get a jump shot. Well, I, yeah, I think that's the difference is the expectation has been adjusted. Like, the, he's not ever going to be a scorer. So I don't think he takes criticism the way that most other players do because you just know that's not going to happen yeah, from yeah, him. Mm. But I think he has – I, I think the overall view of him as an NBA player amongst the NBA and, like, officials and stuff within the league, I think he is still thought of as a – as a big piece, because I because he was all team defense. Right. Yeah, he's, he's, defense, a, he's a good he defender. Still is a great passer, great yeah. rebounder. He just he just doesn't score the ball. But I think now that the expectation has been changed for him that that's who he is. I don't think he takes as much criticism. Yeah, and I mean, I think at this point you just can't play him at, at point guard at all. I think he has to be um, four. It's kind of like handicapping because that's what he's best at. Yeah, <laughs> kind of so he's just not good at scoring. I like him at the he's point. He's great at running the offense. I like the way he runs the team and stuff. And <laughs> once he switched on to Trey Young, Trey's done well. But yeah, I'm about he, to say he, yeah, changed, to Trey. he changed the the series when they put him on for them. I think Philly has the right team now. I think they put the pieces together the best that they're going to, and they should be winning this series. And they should be moving on to either Milwaukee or an injured Nets team that I don't know if they would be favored, but they would have a good shot. They're just blowing it. Yeah, they're just blowing Ice Trey will not lay down. He's he fighting. will not lay down, boy. You got to play every single good. last minute of them games. Yeah, I, I don't even, it's confusing <laughs> to me how the, the Hawks are even here. But, um, I mean, they're a good team. I think they caught, they're pretty caught good. heat at the right time. Uh, yeah, this is the last. I mean, I didn't think they would have any chance in this series. So Finishing games, do, but they're up. I mean, they who can finish think, it out. Who do you think wins that series? Philly should win it, but I wouldn't put my money on it <laughs> that way. I, I still think they're going to take it too. Well, I'm going to take the Hawks because I just didn't expect them for them to be here, and they're up yeah. in the series right now. So fair enough. They got the momentum. Um, I'm gonna go with them. It's all, all the pressure is on the 76ers at this point. Like, yeah, for sure. All the pressure is on Ben Simmons. He doesn't perform well. I think Tobias has a big <laughs> under night. pressure at this point. I think Tobias apparently, has a big so. night tonight. Yeah, he's been he awful. So right? awful. He was awful last game. Last, last game, game he only had four fucking points. Yeah, and he got a huge score. contract. He's been good up until then. He's yeah. been at 20 points. Yeah, like yeah. So I think he'll bounce players. back. He'll have a good game. And he got shut. You can't have. I mean, Trey Young's nice and shit, but. He can't, can't be scoring nothing. 39 points. They can't do nothing with him, yeah. Uh, come he on. Got, he got, you're talking about people that they got no bags or, or packages. He got so many bags he could dip in. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a great player. <laughs> I think uh, his uh, passing is underrated as well, too. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Because they double him every time. Yeah, he can get the ball, he get the ball out every time. I think, uh, well, coming out of college, didn't he average like 10 or 14 assists or some shit like that? It's, he has to it was crazy. Number. Like I think he averaged like 14 assists or some shit like that coming out. So just uh, one of the highest numbers I've seen from a point guard. And he was like a scorer too. It's just yeah. something super That's rare that I you remember. see. It's He's just, more of a scorer. Yeah, scoring like crazy. Right, but his assist numbers. I think he. I'm pretty sure he led the nation in assists oh, well. um, that year as well. Oh, he did. Capella's got abused. Yeah, I, I had a higher regard for him previously. I'm not Me saying too, because he bad. had a great season. He's not year. a bad player, but once he got matched up with Embiid, he has just gotten dominated, and he looks terrible on offense. Like you can tell, his confidence is gone at this point. Yeah, I, mean, I don't really know what Embiid is doing his job. Like he fucking him up every time he get the ball. I don't he know what do Capella does. Um, he was a shot blocker. He was a shot Rebound. blocker and just a great finisher because he just Catch gets oops. up so high. Yeah. yeah. But he just hasn't done anything this year. He's been fully dominated. I mean, it's, it's an easy guy to stop. I guess he he, he got to just play with more energy and get like who's the easy to the, stop? Embiid? No, no. Oh, I mean, I'm saying, no, Capella, Capella, I mean <laughs> fucking him. Up. You know, as long as you play like the pick and roll. Well, well, yeah, come on, ain't got really no offensive game. He's right, a right, exactly, defensive guy. Exactly. He can catch some some oops and all that shit. That's about it. What about so? I mean, we kind of we kind of touched on Milwaukee a little bit while we were talking about that, but that series has been insane. Yeah, the Nets looked unbeatable after the first two games. Well, Saturday night is when it went down. Was it Game Three or Four when Kyrie got hurt? I believe it was Game Three. Three was when they won the nasty game. Yeah, eighty four, eighty three, or something. Right, 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 right. Let me see Sunday. Honestly, I can't remember, but whenever he got hurt, 
I think if you think he's done for Sunday the playoffs, night, my bad. Sunday. Yeah, he's done for the playoffs. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Definitely too. the series, but yeah, you rolled the ankle pretty bad. I mean, I, mean, I wouldn't you think he don't like even if they make the finals type shit? Well, maybe. If they last to the finals, maybe. Yeah, that would be three more weeks away. Yeah, it's a few probably. more weeks. He'd be he'd be good to go by the end probably. Weeks. But I mean, look, K D just bought him some time. I mean that was an epic performance and all, but I just feel like uh, the oh, Nets. I think they're still going to lose the series. I do. Oh, wow. Did they win in Brooklyn tonight? I kind of. We got to. I got. We got to. We got to. I got to make a stand one way or the other. I don't know. I, can, I gotta go now. Brooklyn. I gotta go Brooklyn. It's hard to go against KD after, especially after you've seen him put up a fucking forty-nine point. For really. Probably the best playoff performance I've ever watched, uh, minus you know maybe one of LeBron's epic performances like you know Celtics Game Six or something like that. But um, you know seventeen, just I would say it's the best because some of that stuff was like uncharacteristic or not uncharacteristic necessarily. But up? yeah, I, I mean, think he was just answering all the questions. People were saying all this stuff. He's never had to facilitate. He's never had right, to right. Pass. He did all of that. He's never had to run the offense. And he, he got his fucking seventeen boards. And he did it, yeah. And it was on yeah. both ends of the floor. I think he had two blocks, a couple steals. He led. He led both teams in all stats. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> like think of it That'll that way: points, too. rebounds, assists, steals, but blocks. Led all good. stats and all. But the reason why I think it's over um, for the Nets, especially if uh, I mean <laughs> Kyrie's not coming back and. James Harden doesn't look like he's uh, he's nowhere near 100%. Yeah, I think it's over because even that game where KD went off, the Bucs were supposed to win that shit. The Bucs had like a commanding lead the majority of the game. And then, I don't know, down the stretch, more the fourth, like the second half of the third and the fourth quarter, KD just was unstoppable. Yeah. He had some unbelievable shots. That was the Jeff Green game, too. Wasn't yeah, it? Jeff Green had 27 he points. Yeah, Jeff Green. Eight for uh, eight Blake Griffin, or something Blake like Griffin that. had like 17, yeah, 18 like 17. points. Was something the top like three that. Scores. I think the Jeff Green piece is the bigger deal. Yeah. Because yeah. what more can KD do for you? Right. Like right. If he does the exact same thing and gives you another 49, 17, 10, or whatever, like you still need somebody else to carry. Some of the. Well, I think I said that night, that night. I've seen you. Yeah, like somebody yeah, got hit six or seven threes. Going to be Joe Harris yeah. and it, it was. In and the how, can, how many Jeff times Green. can you can you count on Jeff Green though? <clears throat> you know that's what I'm you saying. You can't. Right. Right. He's good for a good three though. He's good for half of that at least. But I'm thinking I can count on Chris Middleton or more than. The thing with Middleton is he hasn't played good in away games. He only plays yeah. good in in Milwaukee. Pop. I mean, yeah. So that's, that's true. the difference maker. He got a. I think what he had that game. Yeah. Well, in the, the last game, last no, night he had like 38 or something. Because he was at home. Well, yeah, he had 25 true. that game. But it was like a quiet 25. He was 8 for 22. Yeah. That's like <laughs> I mean, so. And that's the a, that's a crazy thing about uh, KD. He scored 49 points on like 23 shots. Yeah. That's yeah, like he's, just he's ridiculous. The efficiency yeah. is crazy. It's like Him and next Kawhi level. Like like the most efficient players Those I've ever watched. Those are the two watched. guys that can actually do that. Everybody yeah. else is going to have to put up 30 shots. Right. To even, get, even, even like historically great guys like Kobe. When the nights where Kobe get really getting shooting. busy, yeah. he's taking 30, 35 shots. Yeah, and then you and Right. You know, and, and it looks all good, but you're like, oh, the shooting percentage is it's not that great. It's, you know, it's not that yeah. You know, Kawhi and KD, yeah, 16 free throws. they're taking, yeah, I mean, that's always 13, going to hit 13, gotcha. But they're going, to, they're going to have 50%, you know, shooting field goal percentage. And yeah. that's just, it's insane watching them because, you know, man, that's just, every shot's a good look. You know, yeah. it's like you just get to your spot and it's just, that's a good look. You, you see it coming out of their hand like it's not a better shot on the floor that you can take. Once you get going, you can't do nothing about it. Yeah, Nothing. yeah. Yeah, I think Harden deserves some love for the last two games. Toughing it out. You know I love to hate on Harden more than <laughs> anybody else, except for maybe Kyrie. But, yeah, what he's been able to do to come out and play and play within the injury, yeah, I think is, is insane. They have no boost. Anytime you see somebody come out and once they get on the floor, they're just it's that natural reaction to turn it up to 100 speed. Yeah. And Harden has played all these minutes because he played forty something minutes the first yeah. game. I'm not sure how much he, he was awful. We could have deal with, with Harden yeah, in that game though. No, no, no field goals. I don't believe that game. He but, hit one. Like, he hit a three, I think. But last night, 
he put in some points on a like few 16, 16 points. 16 points, yeah. And just the way he moves Seven and six. stuff, it, it's impressive that he can be out there for that long and not overdo it to keep himself in the game. Yeah, I thought he was going to hurt them by playing. Yeah, me too. But he's kind of playing in a way where everybody knows he's hurt, but it's still James Harden. So he's still a threat on the court. And and I, you can't just leave him wide open. And I think it's you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, well. you can't leave him wide open. So he's still a threat that can help KD out if he wants to get. But bigger than that, I think it's it's uh <clears throat> it's something that makes KD more comfortable. That's what I'm saying. To have somebody have another threat on the court. Well, not even another threat. Just it's like somebody not, more familiar, like somebody he can trust. Yeah, not out there on the floor. Not have sham it with the right, ball right, right. Some. He, he can feel today. comfortable because it's like or Bruce Bryan. I got James Harden. Yeah, he's been good, but he's been right, I got James Harden on the floor with yeah. me. It's not like just me, literally. Even if James isn't like contributing, I got one of my dogs. Right, one it's of one dog of my dogs. Dog. It's just different out there, you know, playing with somebody that you know. Push come to shove, I can. I feel. I feel confident getting them the ball and he making the right decision or making a good play with it, regardless of uh, his like. Physical situation or, or yeah. health or whatever like that. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I think that's it's big mm-hmm. for like KD's confidence and shit too. For sure. Ultimately. Good shit. But yeah, I mean, definitely shout out to James Harden for that. I think uh, ultimately when he when he first said that he was coming out, I thought it was a mistake. Yeah, we did too. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you just going to yeah, I thought the same thing. That he was going to play yeah. in game three. Because you knew he wasn't healthy. Well, so yeah, like, I'm just thinking like, bro, you're going to hurt yourself even more type shit. Like, right. Why would you want to do that, you know? Yeah. Playoffs, though. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the season, I guess if you go down, you go down. Like, there's not too much more harm there. But shout out to him for making it happen. I yeah. respect it. Yeah. Game seven, that's going to be fun. Yeah. That's going to be a good one. Tonight, what hey. time? Not tonight. It's tomorrow night. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tonight is the um, Sixers Hawks Jazz Clippers. A shout out to Playoff P. Man. Oh, that, that's, uh, that's game seven, too, right? Nah, the, both of the game tonight's six. games are game six. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, um... I thought the Clippers were done. Okay. The yeah. Clippers After were Kawhi done. went there, I thought the same thing. It's a bad news for Kawhi. That's why I bet on Dwight getting that double. I mean, not Kawhi. But PG getting that double double. That was a good choice. Ooh. And the win, though. That was tough. And that was dub. a good pick for you. He was balling. That was really playoff P right there. I guess was. Actually, he really did his thing. He 37 points. And he was showing up all series, for real. He had, he's, been, he's been solid this playoffs. Yeah. He had a few games early on where he shot really bad, but since then he settled in nicely. But I still thought that that was, I thought that was cool. Like there's a difference between settling in as the two guy right, nicely right, and right. taking over the way he did that last game. Yeah. I never saw that coming. But I mean, what's wrong with the Jazz? I don't know. They what's looked, going on? They looked so dominant. They, they lived three well. In a row. Donovan is hurt. So he's staying in perimeter most of the time. He's questionable for today. Yeah, he's had an ankle issue the whole series, and it's getting progressively worse every game. What it seems like he's not moving, not I driving as much. The but they living and dying by the three, That's like they always, have all season. Yeah, always best three, but shoot the most three. They make the most threes in the league for the season, and they still living up and dying by that. I think the last game they went off. I think they was up. They had like fucking twelve threes the first half or some shit, and at the end of the half they was only up six points. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, y'all hitting all these threes, but that shit ain't going to last the whole game. And then yeah. it got cold the second half. Clippers took the lead, got the dub. And uh, Jazz should be ashamed of themselves. It's just, <laughs> come on, bro. You can't have that. Their, their best player, really by far, is out. You should, uh, I mean, you close that door right there and there. With Kawhi being out? Yeah. Oh, he's talking about, oh, all right. Yeah. You close that door. Apparently, Kawhi's out. I mean, it's over for the Clippers regardless. It sounds like he's done. He's not coming back. Yeah. Kawhi don't play. Kawhi is not a James Harden. Like, he's not going to play through any injury. <laughs> oh, no, he's not. Kawhi's not going to sit his ass down. If he feel any kind of tweak, Kawhi's not I mean, stepping on the when we talk about knees, though. It's usually his knees. Well, they, they he's say always a, had bad they knees. They say it's an ACL, but, yeah. I mean, we, we see. On that. You know Kawhi, he's not, he not going to force anything. <laughs> He gonna play on his time. That's true, but when it's a knee, and you know you can bust your shit and be down for a season, like <laughs> you're not gonna play on that. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, his counterpart or uh, since his father's day, his father, Kobe, would play. 
<laughs> he will play. Kobe's not playing on the best of ACL. Nah, as, I, as great I, as Kobe is, he's not playing. Nah, on the I best agree with ACL. that. Play. Kobe's playing no matter what. Kobe will play. Nah, y'all tripping. Bro, he shot. He shot the free throws out there. Yeah, he didn't play on that shit. He didn't come back in the game and play on that fucked up Achilles. Yeah, but you got that's all you like. Literally, same with your ACL. Like, you need that to run, bro. I, I don't know how serious his ACL. I don't know if it's just like. I love, love Kobe, but I guess he some things he just can't play. I'm on. guessing he didn't tear it, but he might have like uh, strained it or some shit like that. I I'm not sure. Did. I didn't even see the play. I think they said it may was an overextension or something. They said it may require surgery though. Um, wow. So I mean, it's likely that we won't see Kawhi anymore. Um, you know the series, but I don't like the Clippers. For no real specific reason, they just annoy me. <laughs> Why is that? Are y'all do y'all like them or do they rub you the wrong way? <laughs> Not really. I, I mean, I'm a Kawhi I fan. I so. like Kawhi, but I, I guess I don't. I don't care for Paul George that much. I don't like Beverly that much, and just the way that they just seem like they just feel like they can throw it together is always annoying. I've never been a big fan of PG. I love his game. I love watching him play because he's a great. When he's in his bag, he's in his bag. He's really. But I, I like seeing him getting his like redemption for a safe from all the hate he's got in the past couple of seasons. To see him playing well, I like so seeing. It's gonna come his way real hard if they blow the blow this lead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the tides can turn. Yeah, fast. very fast. He did get a lot of. I mean, love. even if they lose shot. the series, you're not gonna blame. You're not gonna say he didn't do what he's supposed to do. If he go, if he goes four for seventeen right. in game six or something, that could be bad. See that that would be fair. I'm telling so you, waste all he's done the whole playoffs on one game without Kawhi. It won't be fair, but you know how the people are. The people are fickle, fickle, very fickle. The opinions change quickly. Now, the bigger, probably the biggest news of the whole week, or could be the biggest news of the whole week, was CP3 suddenly being deemed out for close contact mm-hmm. protocol type stuff. COVID issues. Y'all know what's going on with that? I haven't honestly uh, paid no, a lot no of details. details. Just well, don't, yeah, they didn't, they didn't say if he actually had it. Or, or uh, I think apparently he went into the stands after one of one of their yeah, games, like that last win, and hugged his family. Is that no what it was about? Way. That's, that's that's the only thing that I've heard huh. that could make any sense. That's weird. But it, it seems like every time CP3 has like the door or jar for a championship, oh, y'all think he's not going to play in the next series? He's. A, I think he'll be back. I think, I think he'll, he'll be back, back but yeah. it, it depends on. Um, he gonna play eventually. Of well, course. it all depends on like what happens. Because if he actually has it, then right. I believe you're like 14 days guaranteed that you've right. got to be right. out. Right, exactly. Plus, Nobody knows. Plus whatever. <clears throat> but if it's like just a close contact with friends or something, then I think that's like the four or five days and three straight days and they get and a test or they, something they, like that. They say, they say if like, you're vaccinated... Then he can hit the floor a lot sooner, mm-hmm. but nobody knows if, he, if he's vaccinated or not. Right. So that information is not public public either. So it's just one of the things; it's a big mystery. Mm-hmm. But again, it seems like every time CP3 has an opportunity, mm-hmm. something is either life or literally the NBA <laughs> like slams the door in front of him. Remember when? I don't you know, think this is one of those things. No, no. Remember <laughs> when he was supposed to get traded to the Lakers? Yeah, they stopped it. And that's like the only trade I've ever seen like stopped. Because it was a lockout. It was, it was, they shouldn't have stopped it, but they did. It was, it was a lockout. It was, it was complete robbery <laughs> at that point in time. It's like, you know, one of the things that would have gotten Kobe another championship and would have like solidified CP3 at that point in his career. Because, I mean, at that point, everybody was just saying like that's all he needed. I mean, it's, it's still something that he's chasing. But, uh, you know, he was in his prime right then and there. Like, mm. the Lake, it would have put the Lakers over the top. And I think it was maybe like 2010 or something when that trade fell through. That was a big thing, but I mean, that was preseason. Like, it wasn't like a and championship finals, was on the and line. And finals, and just yeah. something crazy. But they would have won a championship. Man, Kobe man, and CP3, they would have won a championship. Or at least competed. But, um, yeah, I mean, it sucks for him, man. It sucks for him. He'll be all right. He'll play. He'll be, he'll be that game one. I'll as see long as he's there game one, then, yeah. then all is well. But I think he might miss a game or two. if he's out for the first you, one. You're praying on CP3's downfall, is what it sounds like. <laughs> That's not me. I think it's the Suns are going to win the championship now. The Suns? Yeah. It's, it's looking that way. It's not a bad. I think they, they can beat the Clippers on the Jazz. I think they have sure. the best team. Yeah, I'm not even concerned about the West, honestly. But I think they might win the championship. It's possible. The way the Nets are hobbled, um, then you can't pick them. 
hard to pick Giannis in, in the Bucks, man, when Giannis just shows, like, he's going to get his buckets, but he just shows his limitation over the course of, like, a seven seven game series. So I hope they win. I would prefer that they win, to be honest. But the Bucks? Yeah. I, I hope the Bucks or Sixers win. That's just personal thing, though. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it goes. I don't. I don't know. Um, but I mean, the Suns is a solid pick out out of the West right now, for sure. Um, for sure. I mean, yeah, he's come off a sweep. Right, right. I mean, it it's, yeah. all depends on Chris Paul, though. If he's there, then they they can they can make a little splash, make something happen. Like, I mean, like, you know, the NBA is switching balls now. Oh, I, don't know. I did not know that. They're They're not switching from. They, I don't know. They used. Um, I don't know. They probably start next season, but they've used the Spalding for like forty three years or some shit, and now they're switching to Wilson. It's pretty consistent. Big news! Big news out of yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> did, did not know that. <laughs> oh, Switch your mask. I don't know why. I don't know hey. why. It's just interesting. What did you have to tell us about Zion? Oh God! Oh, um, you, you didn't hear the news that he, he uh, family members want him out. out? Man, I heard Want him out of uh, New Orleans? I heard he that. hasn't said anything, of course. But I heard that. I don't care. But I did hear that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's interesting. To- I see he's trying to blow the whole shit up. Pelicans talking about leaving New Orleans and everything. Well, I mean, they <laughs> uh, they <laughs> might have to. Set the whole shit on fire. They don't really get a lot of support. And then, of course, you know, the, the coach left. Uh, Stan yeah, Van, Van Gundy games. got fired. You know, win some yeah. games if you want to be supported. I think it starts with the GM, man. Uh, what's his name? David Griffin or something shit like that. I don't know. Is that David Griffin? That's like, I think it is. Something like that. He's 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 clearly a terrible GM. Yeah. He's had he, like incredible he pieces like over the, the course of the years. They picked up and then say he's a bad GM. It's I mean, just a terrible organization. Well, you got to you got to put together everything. The players have been pretty good. Um, I guess so. He, he's done that part, but then he, he hasn't done a good <laughs> job of picking the right coach for any of those those teams to, to really propel them to the next level. Uh, I mean, Zion would be right at the, I don't, I don't know if the Pelicans will ever be good. It's just they had AD for years and they weren't, I think they made the playoffs maybe once or twice with, you know, one of the best players in the NBA. So, um, I don't know. I think he, he might be justified in, in wanting to get out. But, of course, Zion hasn't said anything. No. We'll All NBA? First team, second team, third team is out. Do you have that available? I, I do. Hold it up. I just First know team, one thing that is nuts. Giannis, Curry, Luka, Jokic, Kawhi. Second team, Embiid, LeBron, Dame Dollar, CP3, Julius Randle. Third team, Bradley Beal, Jimmy Butler, PG, Gobert, and Ky- Kyrie Irving. Hmm. I see that a that couple was, snubs. Y'all said there was a bunch of snubs. I know. At least, I think at least two snubs. Before you say them, you think they're snubs for the first or second team, or they should have been a third team and didn't make it? Um, second or third. Yeah. Okay. Second or third. I don't think there's any snubs in the first two. Yeah. And then if your snubs are on team three, I feel you, but I don't think it matters at that point. It kind of does, though. For their, their players. For their money, I understand. Yes. Go ahead, though. With, who are your yes. players? Who are your players that you oh, think um, are snubs? Donovan Mitchell and Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum became a superstar this year. So who do you replace, then? Jimmy I Butler. I will replace Jimmy Butler, PG, or Kyrie Irving. PG made it? So those are PG all, made it, 13. Those are all 13. Yeah. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hold on, stop, man. Before <laughs> anything, KD is not on the list. KD, KD not not played list. 32 games. So what? That's less they than half. You shouldn't be on the list if you play less than a half a season. But is he, he is he the best player in the NBA or not? No, not in thirty two games. Yeah, you got in thirty two games. games. Yeah, he played. I, I can see if it was like ten games or something. But uh, less all right, than I get half he, a season. So what? That's not enough. I, I, it's enough to at least make the third team for me. I, I don't get how he no. cannot be on the list, bro. We're talking about Kevin Durant, the Slim Reaper. As soon as he oh, plays yeah, next it's season, not a, it's, yeah, it's not a history. It's well, not history. Season. He played <laughs> this year. He played well every time he was in the game. He, he showed you that he was Kevin Durant, the best player sure. on the floor every time he was in the game. Sure. I just I think that's the biggest snub. Oh, is Kevin snubbed. Durant. 
more than he got started uh, off. You got to play more than that. He was a not a lot. <laughs> like, hey, I mean, you know, I guess it is. it is what it is. But Jimmy Butler is the only one that I saw on the list that I was a bit surprised by. I didn't understand that one. He I had, didn't understand it. He didn't do anything this year that stood out. I'm sure he played well overall. His numbers probably look cool, but he was never a comment. Honestly, I would rather Westbrook be there. Yeah, that's another thing. Westbrook probably should have been there too. Snub. It's just averaging triple double don't mean nothing no more now. Yeah, <laughs> it's no, no more. Surprised waiting. not to see him on the list. What he did to get them into the playoffs was yeah. more important to me than his triple doubles. But and that's sad. I don't know who else he would take off. I mean, he wasn't Westbrook wasn't <laughs> better than Curry, Doncic, Dame, Chris Paul by any means. So then it's Beal and Irving are the other two guards. Yeah, and I don't think they... I don't know where you put them. Probably Beal. I mean, I told you three. Jimmy, PG, and Kyrie are suspect to me on this list. But, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I think I can do without Kyrie on it. <clears throat> the Sixers had three guys on the all-defensive NBA first team and second team. I feel like that couldn't have been done before. Or at least not very often. Um, ten it? names picked. You got three of them. You got the Simmons, um, Embiid, and Thibel. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I I don't remember anything in recent history anyway. But it's hard to imagine that happening, uh, especially in, in today's league. It's kind of wild. All all three of them made them. Thibel made it. Second team. Hmm. All right. Right. <laughs> like, it is, it is. I, mean, I heard he's a good, pretty good defender, but I didn't know he was all NBA. And B needs to, or no, Simmons needs to step up that defense this series. I, I don't, I haven't seen that. You haven't seen the game. First team all watch. defense. He's been doing his thing when he's on Trey. Obviously not. <laughs> watch, watch the game and we'll talk. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think he's been that great defensively. It seems like he's been a, a bit of a statue, especially the last game. All righty. Get run around. MVP Jokic. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, that was weird. That last Any week. thoughts on that? Last week, last week. Oh, yeah. He deserved it. Yeah, I thought it seemed like a clear yeah, yeah. choice he deserved. on that one. Yeah. Honestly, none of the awards I didn't see much stuff about. I oh, would see them get announced and, you know, it would be a chatter for a minute, but it wasn't. Is that just me? Didn't feel like any of the awards were that yeah. big of a deal. Yeah, it, it, it was When it came, it went. For sure. Yeah. Well, Melo get the rookie of the year. He did. That's predicted. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we all yeah. expected that. See, yeah. Anthony Edwards felt like he got snubbed. I don't see why. Is that what he said? Yeah. I mean, he basically said he liked it. He retweeted something and said something like they lit a fire under him or something for next year. All right, great. He's supposed to be better next year. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that's what he's supposed right, to do. Second like, year. <laughs> supposed to take about off. That, like, I mean, he used it as motivation. Yeah. I don't have no problem with that. No problem thing, with you shouldn't think you got snubbed. I understand you had some great dunking games that you had, some games you went off. Cool. Yeah, he did. They I showed mean, the he, stats of the medal that rookies and all all stats except for. I points. think he deserves it. Is it? Is, it is. I think I would have been mad either way. <laughs> yeah. Whichever one of them got. Somebody it. feels snubbed every year. That's just how it is. Yeah, yeah. some reason Who I understand, cares? but for this one, it's like, all right, bro, like, come Who on. Cares? Come on. I don't know. He went off. Cole Anthony should have made it, though, I think. I think he got snubbed. For the Cole four. Anthony? Rookie of the year for the um, rookie first team, second team. I didn't see what he did this year very often. I know he had a couple of game winners that got really big, but I, I don't know enough about what he did. I think he hooped. He hooped. Yeah. He had decent years. Who does he play for? For the um, Magic. Orlando Magic. That's tough. Yeah. That's so the tough. team was awful, so you didn't really see him at all, really. No. No. <laughs> not making any nationally televised Magic. Yeah, especially after they got rid of everybody in the middle of the season. Well, the Magic yeah. ain't been good for at least. What, 12 years now or Since good. Dwight Yeah I used to play with them On 2K all the time Back when they had Dwight Howard And Jameer Jameer Nelson And um, He do Yeah Yeah they, well, uh, what, what a Dude uh, Turkaloo Yeah he was nice But uh, uh, Who was Baby Jordan I used to call him Baby Jordan on the Jason game. Richardson Yo he used to play Just <laughs> like Jordan If you ever played With him on 2K It was like Having Michael Jordan Bro mm. Swear to God, no, he can do anything. Once he get this zone, Jordan. I'm gonna play with him. He's mad stiff. He yeah, has stupid no. bunnies though. Stupid bunnies, bro. You can dunk on anybody, and he can shoot. Yeah, like, stupid bro. Buddy, I used to get busy with him on on the game, bro. You could not beat me if I had the magic, and he started going off. It was just it was over for you. I could see him having a video game type game. 
Yeah, like I mean, he's yo, a shooter and a dunker. And yo, like, like, he's a, a score. He was one of the funnest players in 2K history to play with. I 2K swear. history. I right. swear, bro. <laughs> Super man. I swear. Yeah. I don't know about that. If you know, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. He was a good dunker. He can I shoot too, that. bro. It's, it's free, I mean, he's a good three point shooter. Did you say so? Pretty solid. What else you got? Anything else in the NBA? Uh, no. Uh, Nothing NBA, Celtics making moves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. so weird to wake up to. I didn't even know you could make trades during the playoffs. Already. <laughs> they ain't I mean, playing you no game. out. Yeah, I guess so. You literally going to stick with a point know. guard there. Bro. Hold on, all right. When do they get a point guard that stays? Yes, let's not even get to that. So what was the trade? The trade was, let me pull it up. It was Kemba. The trade Kemba. First rounder. First, yeah, first round To pick. take his contract. So they traded Kemba and a first round pick. They might have swapped first rounders or something. The Thunder oh, are right. stacking up, right? They got nothing but draft picks. Thunder That's how they did the last those. time, right? Hunter Jay Kimball had a number 16 overall pick for this year. 2025 second round pick to Oklahoma for Al Horford and Moses Brown. And a 2023 second round. I don't know who Moses Brown is. I don't know who he is either. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck he is. Horford, when, it's, I don't know what's going on. All right. The, the reason for them stuff. doing it is, is money. Yeah. They so. cleared up $73 million that we owe Kimball. That's why he got my body there. So I think we got to pay uh, Jalen his guaranteed contract coming up this year. We got to give him his guaranteed money. So he did, did have to clear it up. Got Al Hofer back. I'm not too excited about that. You know, I love Al when he was with us, but he's older now. Been shipped around a couple times. I don't know. We'll see. Now we need a point guard. So I'm hoping we're clearing space for Dane. <laughs> I'm so hoping we're clearing space for Dane. That's the only hurt. thing that will make this make sense to me. It's going to hurt so bad. Why don't y'all go ahead and get Lonzo man. Ball on the free agent? I don't want him. Market. I don't want him. I'm Pair good. him up with Jason Tatum? Mm, nah. That'd be all right. That might be all good. right. It's going to demand too much money. Definitely. I'm good on that. I mean, where do you get a point guard from? Dane, bro. That's what we get. Portland. <laughs> bro, Portland, <laughs> Oregon. That's what we get from Brian. <laughs> I don't Shit. know if him and uh, we still need a coach. I don't know if Dame and Tatum work. We got a lot of we got a lot of shit. Huh? It'll work. I like to see it. I like to see if it I don't think work. It, of course, I like to be, see if it don't work. It'd be, a, it'd be a great <laughs> offensive like. <laughs> and Jalen the, Brown, shit. Neither one is like a facilitator shit. necessarily. So I just wonder who who's gonna you know fill that role. What do you mean? Dame averages seven eight assists a game. Okay, I mean, I, I see. I don't. I just don't see him as like the. I see him was, score for score first more too. I yeah, he's got. He, saying, that's what I'm saying. Like the mentality. I yeah, mean, he's Portland, a, he's their best player on the team. So yes, he has to carry the load of scoring. Yeah, Portland but, doesn't run. I mean, they don't run with like a true point guard. Right, right, yeah. right, right. It's just multiple. I'll take him. Offensive talents and kind of running around. I think that would work just fine. But exactly. Who knows? That was a wild trade to wake up to today. Wow. I don't know what's going on. We still need a coach. Come on, Chauncey Billups. Let's do this. I've seen his name. I like Chauncey. I like, I like to get name Chauncey. Right people, right no, people been talking about him for the uh, Pelicans job, too. They've been talking about him for all the jobs they have. Too. There's a yeah, bunch, of, bunch so. of jobs open right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're taking the interviews. His name is everywhere, though. I well, like Chauncey. Poor Liam. I like Liam. him from his Nuggets time. Jason Kidd, maybe. He might be a decent coach. I don't know. He hasn't is, been he that sitting, great. is he still sitting uh, as like an assistant with the Bucks or in LA? Yeah. Lakers. Oh, oh, he's an assistant with LA. Yeah. He, I think he was a head coach for the Bucks. He was. He was. He was. Yeah. Early before Giannis grew, grew up. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. But, um, Dallas job is open now. Carlisle's out here free. I don't know. You, they, there's rumors about you know, like he he had a he had his eyes on another job or whatever. So that's yeah, why he he'll be he'll be signed somewhere. I didn't know that. I wouldn't mind getting called out. Get that veteran coach mentality on though. Why? Like, maybe he's cool. something younger, but it's I don't a, know. you forget how long he's been there. Man. He's been he forever. was the longest tenure before this, I believe. Thirteen years. Popovich. Popovich, yeah, yeah. And Popovich. Uh, they signed Dirk to some kind of presidential role too. I thought they signed him as like a um, advisor of some kind. Yeah, advisor. That's what he said he was. Not I don't like know what that time. means, but. Just pretty much he doing can, it. He can get a little bit better seats than he's had the last few days. Right. Well, Probably doing the playoffs. same shit um, Tim Duncan was doing with the Spurs a little bit. I can see that. Yeah, I, just, I don't know <laughs> what their role is. It seems like they wouldn't do much. <laughs> seems like we just call you, run something by you, 
keep advising us on this real quick. Yeah. It's just uh, one of them things that you – he said, right, it's a title that you give to the greatest player in your organization's <laughs> history. Oh, you think they just dare to not do nothing? No, I'm not saying that he – I kind of do. He, he, nah. he, in a sense, yeah. He's pretty much going to probably do the same shit he's been doing for – for them since he's retired, you know, just probably, trying to give, give him some kind of input on players and stuff like that here and there, but it's not going to be a, a major, he's not uh, overseeing the, the basketball ro- roster and operations and shit day to day and uh, be in the building all the time. They'll, they'll phone him, hey, come in and check this guy out or maybe probably. look this over and that's it. I probably. mean, I don't, I don't think it's uh it was just the title that you give because he's so important to the organization. You want to keep a guy like that around for, so other players can see him and uh, reach out to him or he can, you know, just be involved that way. So, I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. see it as, uh, you know, any kind of major role with it. Probably not. It's just something that you do. It's something sure. that you do. You said that you had a couple of football things? Just one, just one, just one, what? just one. Uh, just trying to get some. Le'Veon Bell, man, he, <laughs> uh, he, he, hit the, he hit the news hard this week. With uh, <laughs> he hit the news hard this <laughs> week. What, what he said about Andy Reid. Why people still care though? Why people I mean, care what Le'Veon got to say? It's interesting. You don't think it's interesting what he said? He said, "Well, no. I, I don't know what happened or what prompted him to say it." Uh, but I guess a fan asked him, "Why does he resign with the Chiefs?" And he said that. He will never play for That's Andy Reid again. He retire first. That's a great thing to say about a guy who's won two back to back Super Bowls. <laughs> right, and three AFC <laughs> championships or some shit like that. And, uh, well, he's got one Super Bowl, but yeah, went two no, back to back to back Super Bowl. Yeah, went there back to back. I mean, I just feel like these are the feelings of a man that got buried in the fourth string. Yeah, yeah, it's obvious. Right, let me try to see how he would feel. Maybe he feels like he didn't use him right. He probably didn't. They didn't use him at all. Him. They didn't yeah. use him at all. So, but I can I see mean, him feeling that way. But it's like, bro, like you've been ass. Right, but don't. <laughs> but say, if anything, doesn't it show how washed that Le'Veon is at this point? Because you just feel like once he went to that offense, you was thinking like, oh shit, he gonna thrive. This is exactly what it Le'Veon was needs. News. Like, and then they had an injury. Yeah, yeah, it's set up perfectly like, oh, for, him to be, leave, you know? for his like resurgence of oh. his career. You know, <laughs> he had a couple decent games, or I mean, where he he did something at least like, he contributed. Plays, but maybe. in the playoffs, he, he was the games. <laughs> in the playoffs, he was it was ghost town. Like they yeah. were given, I, I forgot he, even the other dudes. I mean, of course, uh, you yeah, got Cameron Clyde's and with uh, Hilaire in there. Williams. But it was another bad. Yeah, Darren Williams or yeah, something like that. that they were putting him in the game. Yeah. And Le'Veon was he was dressed for the Super Bowl but didn't get a snap. Mm-hmm. Bro, not even a third down reception, even though Mahomes is out there running for his life, they didn't want to give you a quick screen. Nope. <laughs> you don't think that will happen. And I don't know. I feel like Andy Reid is is a type of coach, regardless of, you know, who you are as a player, like he be, he coached T O, so he can deal with difficult personalities. He gonna put the best players on the field. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like the guys who can give him a chance to win. So uh, I think um, Le'Veon has fumbled what could have been a uh, Hall of Fame career, and he, he dropped it down the toilet. Man, it is what it is. It's a wrap for him. Okay, a, it's, you do? I, I don't know if he signs another contract because it's like I feel like he he sabotaged himself talking about Andy Reid almost because. Yeah, it's it's a, like him. it's a situation where it's like, all right, well, you said the Steelers didn't do you right, then <laughs> I'll give you a pass for the Jets well, because the they suck. Do them right, but yeah, uh, they obviously the Steelers did the right thing at this point. Like you, twenty twenty hindsight, it hadn't worked out for both parties. Honestly, if we look at it like yeah, holistically, but both of y'all took a turn. Um, <laughs> for for the Steelers will be all right going forward. Le'Veon Bell will not. So that's what the difference really True. is. It's just. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's old for him. It's, it's, old it's what him. it is. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, How y'all feel about the Madden yeah. cover? They're saying it's the two goats. I don't care about it. I think it's cool, cool uh, to have, to have both of them on there. but Mom's goat now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He, he's one of the greatest of all time. Damn. At this, at this point in his career. 
Damn. I mean, just see. That's wild to me. Just, you just, you're, you're, All he has to do is stack up the rest of the like, stuff. So yeah, where where, where is the bar just, anymore? It's just crazy. He's one of the. It's not hate, bro. This, so who gets goaded off one ring, though? And the MVP. <laughs> All right, and one ring, one MVP. But the, it's, How many players got one ring and one MVP that we ain't called them good? This early in their career, it's only a couple <laughs> players that's ever won a Super Bowl this early in his career. Really, only three or four, maybe. And it's, uh, what, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson. Ben Roethlisberger and, and Patrick Mahomes to to win their second and third season. There's only one of them that deserve the go title. That's all I'm saying. I mean, everybody can have a lane. <laughs> I'm not saying that he's the greatest quarterback to ever play the game. That'll, that'll forever be Tom Brady until somebody can make a decent argument. But he can build up. Uh, we expect for, you know, over the course of the next five, six years for Mahomes to build up enough like statistics to – Get in the realm of you know the top ten quarterbacks of all time, and that's fine. And then at that's that point, fine. he'll be solidified, regardless if he ever wins another ring again as probably a top five quarterback easily. Oh, I always like say he goaded if he never wins a ring again. No, what do you mean? <laughs> He's just still gonna be a top five quarterback, regardless, maybe top two, three. Um, regardless, maybe. if he never wins a ring. Again. My thing is, I don't. I'm not a hater. Y'all probably put me as a hater. You're a hater homes. of Patrick Mahomes. My thing is, is people have goaded him out the gate. I've never seen a, a QB get goaded off their first couple seasons in the league. I just never seen it. But we've <laughs> never seen anything like Patrick sure, Mahomes as well. Sure, yeah. there's a lot of things that we, QBs have come in the league that we've never seen them hit the league like this before. But they ain't get goaded though because of that. Well, Lamar came in the league and took the lane by storm. They won't goat in Lamar. Well, like it's, it's mad players we've seen come in. He's the like, greatest just running out. quarterback of all time. <laughs> you think that choosing the the Madden cover <laughs> says that he's goaded? I mean, that's what they call him, right? I don't know. I haven't paid any attention. That was like the you didn't see the trailer before they dropped the cover of the, they showed the two goats coming out the barn. Who y'all think made the cover? And that's all they've been calling it, the two goat cover. That's the that's the I name of the cover. It. I missed it. Did not see that at all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just don't understand it, but hey, I guess if that's some people's next goat, up, bro. If that's some people's goat, then go ahead. Yeah, I got it. The word gets used. Like, I don't think anybody's saying that he's the number the number two all time quarterback right now. But it's just this it's his generation. They, okay. they, they just use that word all the time. Everybody gets called the goat of everything. Oh. But we know when people are saying it and using it in a serious manner. Not just playing around like you to go, bro. Not this ain't a you to go, bro situation. You putting them alongside Brady, you saying something. <laughs> I'm saying when we talk about the NBA season, we've said at, at least like four different names throughout the, the year. Like, that's the GOAT, man. And it's like it doesn't actually mean like we're saying this is the best basketball player right now. But there's stuff that Steph does, it's like, yo, Steph's the GOAT. Dame does the same thing. Yeah, but I mean, it's saying, always prefaced with the goat of great. something. Steph is the goat of shooting. Dame is the goat of closing game. It's almost in reference. Not saying they're the best player of all time. We know that's Jordan. So it's just like, you know, this is what it is. Well, I mean, Mahomes is easily <laughs> the most exciting quarterback I've ever watched. Okay. That's I cool. think so. I agree. You want to agree, though? You want to agree, the though? The most exciting? The most exciting a lot of exciting quarterbacks. The most exciting, like, from all, like, aspects of the game, I would say. Because, I mean, you could always say, like, I would well, say Michael Vick. talented. Is, he's probably one of the most talented, for sure. His talent, his skill level, yeah. He's the most talented most quarterback exciting ever. When Vick came in the league, that was something different. He, that, was say he's a, that was exciting. He's shit. definitely exciting. That was a must-see football. Explosive. You had to watch Falcons games with Vick. Was <laughs> but, but at this point, Lamar's <laughs> past with what Vick did. I'm not talking about something. You say exciting. Or explosive. Exciting players to watch. Different it's ways they TV. do it. It's ex- excitement comes. You can it, throw the ball, run the ball, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, it comes in different forms. And, and I don't know, you get a different reaction. But I think Mahomes ultimately is, is definitely the most exciting and probably the most skilled quarterback to ever play the game already. I'm fine with saying that. They're definitely most skilled. I'm fine with saying that. Definitely the most skilled. No, no, the most, not one of the. One of the most. Okay. I think uh, you should say that. I-, I said he's one of the. You can say the. I said he's one of them. <laughs> it's just only other one other quarterback I can think of that is just as skilled as, as Patrick Mahomes, and that's only Aaron Rodgers. Okay. Or I would say close. I, I would still give Patrick Mahomes the edge, but uh, that's the only guy that's close, prospect wise. Yeah. 
For sure. Got one coming up, though. That should be in that category one day. Who? Arch Manning, dog. Oh. Look out. He coming, dog. Another man. 2026, he's going to take the NFL by storm. And then you'll have a, a, a new GOAT to talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see that Nagy is still talking about Dalton as quarterback one. Yeah, he got to chill out. Why? Why would you even say that? <laughs> and they say it feels been fucking balling him, and he can't. Why would you just <laughs> let them go to camp and just leave it unsaid? It's stupid. Because yeah, you look like an idiot when you have the right backtrack now in June for no reason at all. It's stupid. <laughs> I think it's to not because it it doesn't it is not going it's not one of the <laughs> things that hurts Fields' confidence at all. No, just stupid. but it would hurt Dalton's confidence. But drafting Fields in the first round and trading up would hurt Dalton. Dalton's not confidence, stupid. Right? He knows he's going he knows to knows so, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think they're gonna do the same dumb bear shit that they always yeah. do. Yeah, it's like they did with Trubisky and um Foles. Like they're gonna shit. start stupid. They're gonna start <laughs> Dalton for like two weeks and go 0 and two and then switch to Fields. And it's just gonna be I Dalton. think it's all it's probably always a bad idea. When when you don't have like uh a starter already, and you're bringing in like a free agent and drafting a quarterback. It's a bad idea to just name somebody the quarterback. Yeah, let him work. Let him play it out. Play it's like we team. knew that Baker Mayfield probably should have started over Tyrod Taylor to begin with. At least, I mean, Tyrod wasn't bad or anything, and but the, we knew that's probably what should have happened. And, and that old Chargers like how we doing, Tyrod. right? And then uh, <laughs> Justin Herbert. Like how we doing right now with um Cam and Mac? Belichick can come out and say who's going to be the starter at it's all. Who, it's whoever plays. But they've been in practice, and they say Mac has been up and down, and Cam has pretty, been pretty decent. So it looks like Cam might get the job. Right. That's, but they but they fighting for who's playing better right. with these players that we got right now. That's, that's right. how it should be. That's, There's no reason to name it right now. Exactly. <laughs> you haven't seen them play yet. <laughs> but let them play with these guys. It's, it's, it's going to end up being one of those um, Matt Flynn situations. Probably yeah, signs and never plays. It never fucking plays. Well, yeah. at least Matt Flynn, like he he, he really got a, he got a bag though. So, so I guess we have one topic that we missed for sports before we get into music. LeBron James had a lot to say on Twitter, I believe it was yesterday, yes. or the day before, in regards to all of the injuries. They all didn't want to listen to me about the start of the season. I knew exactly what would happen. <laughs> Only wanted to protect well-being of the players, which ultimately product and benefit our game. <laughs> In all caps, these injuries isn't just part of the game, quote unquote. It's the lack of pure rim rest, rest before starting back, eight possible nine All Stars out, missed playoff games, most in league history. This motherfucker pissed about this shit, man. This is the best time of the year for our league and fans, but they missing out on ton, a ton of our players right now. It's insane. Is there one person that know? If there's one person that knows about how to take care of their body, it's me, King James. <laughs> did he say King James? He's like, he's like, I don't think so. I didn't think so. He put it on. I speak for the health of our players, and I hate to see this many injuries this time of the year. Sorry, fans. Wish you guys were seeing all the favorite guys right now. Mic drop. What a guy. He told y'all, bro. What a guy. He tried to save us. We didn't listen. Did he, he say anything about this actually for the, like the beginning of the season? Though? He did. He, he didn't, didn't want this aggressive start. with it. He didn't want to start. He didn't mention all this player injury stuff. This is fucking retarded. This is six months after the season started. If they had like, I think he's making major leaps too. And how much would he, I mean, he, was, he was mad about the All Star game. He was mad about a few things throughout the season. Mad about, mad about the play ins. Mad about everything that affected him directly. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, is it because AD was hurt? Yeah, yeah. You now know. it's the problem, you know. And it's like if y'all was still playing and you were going against one of the teams that was hobbled by injury, would would he be saying any of this? No comment. He would have tight. I'll give him a little. Leg. I'll give him a little room though, because he is right. A lot of motherfuckers got injured this year. Like a lot, a lot, almost all of them was injured at one point of the season. <laughs> so it's like you know, hey, had a short turnaround. But it's like some and they was doing like back to backs. It was a lot of back to backs. They shrunk the season down, condensed it a little bit. I don't, I don't want to hear that shit. Basketball <laughs> players play basketball every fucking day. I know you don't necessarily play a game, but when you're a baller. It's different between working they out play and playing actual every day. actual games every day. It's different. Don't give me this shit about 
we need rest. Basketball players don't fucking rest. You go and play again the next day. Yeah, that's not true. I mean, yeah, in the season. In the offseason, I'm sure they rest, bro. <laughs> they play fucking. They play I mean, ball every day in the off season. Nah, I mean every single day of the life. I'm sure they have vacations and shit like that. But for the most part, bro, they in gyms and, and they, they should be putting the ball fucking up. Like they, you play basketball all the time. Like what else do you have to do? It's fucking fun. It's not like a football player or something where I mean, you, do done, you know how it feels. You've been beat Asian up over season? the. I'm just saying, thing? it's not like a football <laughs> player where you've been beat up over the. Like, you really like literally got to take a rest, or you can't even. You can't play football in the off season, like basketball players. They play basketball. That's just what they do. They you can go everywhere, and anywhere to play basketball. Oh, so and you think do. It, long seasons don't affect basketball players? I'm not saying it's longer than the football season. Well, they already they had the break in between <laughs> the regular season last year. So what? Well, why man. does why does that factor into them having rest? <clears throat> that actually helped them. Everybody was healthy when the playoffs Going started. Going into the bubble, but I'm saying it's like all right. He didn't want to start right away, and that was a complaint that he had a long time ago. I think he's just doing too much. Affected them the most. They played the latest. <laughs> yeah, I think so I guess just trying to do too much to bring credence back to I was right. See, I sh- I showed showed you. I don't think he has much to say. I don't buy it. Yeah. Look, I, I ain't rolling with LeBron. On this one. Just. Not it? No, nah, this ain't it, bro. This ain't it. It's just focus on Space Jam. Focus on Space Jam right now. Yep, yeah, we'll see how it happens. No. We got other news. Rappers getting locked up. Yeah. Yeah, it's been crazy. Who really shysty. Yeah, but Pooh Shicey shit is crazy. He's uh, I don't know. I know he got the nine bond. Or whatever. Yeah, we about what happened. He's in the club, Miami. Yeah, it's in Miami. This Mike right. took his money. So no, I think what apparently, uh, this is how DJ Academics described it. He said it, he was no wearing. Academics know. He said that Pooh Shicey was wearing some jeggings. And uh, his pants are so tight that he <laughs> somebody, got, was, somebody yeah. was shoot that motherfucker. Bro. He said his pants are so tight he had a lot of money, like like forty k or something like that. You know, how rappers somebody do snatched shit. it. And either it fell out of his pocket or somebody took it or something. Or they say it fell out of his pocket, and the way it was, it was like people didn't know it fell out of his pocket. They thought a rapper was throwing money. Mm. Type shit, you know what I'm saying? So I guess it was like a scramble for the money, but Pushaisi like, no, nah, this shit mine. He pulled out that iron. He pulled out that iron. Yeah, he got you know. Don't need no security. He gonna shoot the whole club. He got his shit up in the club. Money. And <laughs> apparently, he a couple shots went off and it hit one of the security guards in there. Yeah, I think so. But and the security guard told a story that night. And they locked Pushaisi up, and he actually he has another charge. For a shooting or an incident, a gun charge or something like that. I think it's a shooting hmm. somewhere else. Well, um, so that's why he was really denied bond. Is because like he was already out on bond for that shit. <laughs> so it's like we can't let you out again because you did the same thing. Well, that you was out on bond for. Another thing that happened is the security guard guard recanted his what he said. Right, right, yeah. He's, and now because obviously in this situation Pusha I see or yeah that, that's his man's looking at him for witness tamper right right <laughs> they, they obviously you gave this guy some money to, to, mm. to switch his story up but it's like the police don't necessarily need his story if the club has any kind of video right we can see what happens shots was fired in his club right and you had a strap if, if they have <laughs> any kind of video of, of what happened and then you know he's he's gonna he's gonna face some time for sure. But uh, I mean he's got good representation. He did hire Kodak Black's lawyer, so uh, <laughs> I think he oh, wow. he might be all right. He might be all right. He might make it well, out. Well, so after that, well, fucking um, Miami is hot right the now. The one gangster dropped his album, went to yeah. his own party in Miami. <laughs> in Miami, he pulled him over, locked him up on some bullshit. Yo, I'm not Shicey sure. They made it hot in Miami. Well, no, now. um. They say, I'm not sure why they pulled him over, but... Uh, they say he won't even drive him. No, he won't. Of course he not. But, right. you know, he got... They say he wouldn't get out the car. Everybody else got out the car except for Apollo. Right. And, or, or Wolo G is what they call him. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Wolo, man? Um, everybody was 
was got out the car except for him. And when the police tried to get him out of the car, he just like went crazy. Apparently, was telling the police like, "I'll fucking kill you and resisting arrest and shit." Type yeah, yeah they gonna arrest you, Polo. Yeah, 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 he was arrested. <laughs> they, gonna, they gonna arrest you for that. So uh, I didn't know he went off like that. Yeah, 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 he went off. Like they had to like physically remove him from the car, right? Or whatever. Probably got him resisting and, uh, arrest. And all yeah, that they shit. found a couple couple uh, pistols in there and um, probably like some weed or something. You know, nothing major, but. Uh, yeah, 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 Polo G. He, he bought it out, of course, because it's, it's not going to be a serious charge for him. You know? Right. Really? He got, Polo G got enough money to throw around at this point where a little case, a little charge ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to hurt him. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, he good. He, he good at this got point. It. You know, shit. album doing big numbers and shit. Big things. What he ended up selling? 135 was, uh, was the final. It's 135. Good. Which, it's, I, I think it's odd because, I mean, originally it was reported to be 175. Yeah. That's a huge decrease. It's it four, is. by forty k or whatever. Like I wonder what, like how does that, like how, how do those results, or like how what well, always projections. Yeah, right. Well, but I'm just saying. Days after his drop, it's always a projection, so it's never that accurate. I mean, but this was <laughs> well, what I saw, or whatever it was. Like what, why is it, the projections are normally fairly accurate. We don't necessarily see them come down that much. It might be a ten k, fifteen k difference or something like that. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but his his situation because is was because certain streams didn't count because he was doing like some kind of promotion. Mm. I wonder if it was a similar thing Sound like it. for Polo G, um, in this case. But I don't know. Still, I mean, one thirty five is nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, it's an awesome number. Yeah. But uh, I just wonder why such a huge decrease there. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. You never tell with the streaming shit, how it's controlled and all that shit. Right, yeah, it's hard it's to keep track of that shit. Hey, he sold more than Amigos, though. That's what's they... hard to me always, like, this, when y'all bring up sticking the number, because you don't know who controlling this shit, what's going up, who's turning the knobs or whatever or whatever. So, you, you, know, you know, we should talk about ticket sales or something to see who the biggest, who's selling out arenas. Yeah, I mean, that's, you can't, that's, you can't, that's you can't fudge difficult. those numbers. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> difficult to do. Yeah, pretty difficult to do. Probably, but I don't know. I don't know if anybody's doing that shit right now in COVID. <laughs> well, no, motherfuckers, this is touring. They yeah, yeah, out. tours, tours really like start to jump and shit. That's us. So Broadway about the shit of tour. I seen that. Yeah, um, motherfuckers is doing shows for sure. Yeah, shit yeah. is opening yeah. back up. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's yeah. exciting. Um, like I said, uh, Culture 3 is sold 126 for oh, the first really? week. Yeah. I hadn't yeah. heard that. Yeah, that's, really? uh, that's, that's, that's pretty good. It's, I mean, <clears throat> ego. So even though, like I said. They say is that more or less than usual I, for them? Probably was, less. It would probably be a little less. but would, They usually have a bigger impact. But maybe 150 or something so like that. Everybody's putting music out now. You're in the floodgates now. Right, right. It's not like it's quiet. So no, no, not this out. week. This week was lay low. Yeah. Have have people been doing the deluxe the very next week? I've seen it a couple times. Like yeah, you should I've seen give that it a couple two times. to three weeks to <laughs> yeah. kind of maximize your exposure. Not those other records keep spinning over there. Yeah, a couple weeks. They put out a few videos for it already, so. Yeah, yeah. they already have the videos already ready to go. You go with the deluxe. Funny this release. Week. It was five new songs, something like that. I didn't listen to those yet, though. Yeah, five new tracks. Pretty decent. If you hadn't already gathered, we are recording on Friday this week, so. Right. We didn't have a whole lot of time. The only thing I really listened to was Her Had a New Album and Fast and the Furious album came out. Love that Her album. Some really good stuff she's on there. She's phenomenal. That girl can sing. She can yeah. sing, boy. Yeah, she's she amazing. Everything, but. She's amazing. Um, I really haven't listened to much. I, I, I did check out that baby single. What was it called? Uh, Ball if I want to. Yeah, Ball if I want to. Just, it was hard. Y'all say y'all tired of it, though. You say you was tired of baby? Yeah, I'm, I've been over it for a little bit now. I think it's been a couple of months. I, I, I was just saying. He doesn't say anything. He just It's the same shit. It just drives me nuts at this point. Nothing, nothing impressed me about this single. I told you um, what my favorite the baby song is and it's uh it's the one about about his brother and it's an amazing song because uh, he he really speaks into depth about his own life and that's that's the shit i like i want to be able to listen to my to your music and really know you i don't want to um hear a bunch of rap cap all the time and shit like it, i get real disconnected 
off of that. And it's like, that's kind of the, what the baby does is a lot of rap cap. But not even trying to be funny. Don't you think? Oh, you don't feel like Drake does that? I mean, because he, he does it very, very well. But part of my irritation with Drake a lot of the times is it's just him talking shit. And nothing wrong with I that. I think a lot I'm of his music is to listen to him back cap. Not most shit if you, you listen to. Like, yeah, you too. No, none of the shit <laughs> I listen to is rap cap. All right, so everything you listen to, everything he say is real. I mean, it's just tell like it's not. Yeah, it's tells of, the, <laughs> of their lives, bro. I don't listen to a lot. Not, of, not, I don't listen to a lot of rap cap, bro. I don't. Not necessarily, man. No, seriously, I don't. I mean, it's the the artist that you I, know I, I listen polo, to. Polo, right? It's a lot of rap cap and polos. Bro. No, he he telling street stories, like stories of true experiences. Like yeah, he he's, a, he's a street poet, bro. Like that's what I'm listening to. I'm listening to guys who are like telling like real events. It's not just a bunch of my chain this, your bitch that. Like yeah. None of Polo does Jesus. that. Well, and, and yeah, every rapper's gonna do it sometimes. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You say like they don't. Nobody else does. No, it. every rapper's it's part of rap. You know what I'm saying? You go flex a little bit, but I'm exactly. saying like the but the story about Polo G though is, and the reason why Polo G is where he's at is because of his stories in the streets, like what he tells, uh, like true events that happens within his life. You can listen to Polo G and you know some things that he's been through. I can't play a little baby or a Da Baby album, I mean, and really know exactly the things that he's been through in life. I just know what he's doing right now, I guess, and it's just like, oh, you fucking hoes going to clubs. Polo didn't get money. to where he is by telling those street stories that you're talking about. Yes, he did, He got bro. to where he is by making those no, records. No, the, the songs that he blew up on <laughs> was fine. Records. Have you heard? No, it's not. The the song that he blew up on is called Finer Things, and that's what he's talking about. And okay. the song, and it's also Hollywood. These are the songs that put me on the Polo G because I'm like, he's telling a story and he's telling it in a melodic way, but he's telling it like in a way that people can understand and, and digest it very easily. And that's why I knew already he was gonna blow up because people wanted to hear that shit, like real stories and real events and shit like that. Like, I mean, would you admit just, that just, certain artists? do that more frequently than others because like you said i mean there's a certain amount of stuff that is just in all rap songs all rap music in general as part of rap but i think there's certain artists that Young lean thug. more heavily into just talking my chains my money your bitch i think majority of all the, the new up-and-coming guys talk about that I don't think none of them don't do it. So, uh, yeah, right. there are that's, some that's that what I'm every well, but yeah, most of the time the baby shit is like a single. He's a single artist most of the time, so he's putting out hits. So yeah, he's gonna talk about that a lot. He's not gonna put you on a real true story and make that be his hit single. That's not what goes up for him, right? Right. Something I like you just, do, I'm just saying, you do what your fans respond to. Him, you said young thug. That's somebody else that I think of doing the same thing, and and me. Those are three people that to me do it more than other artists do and that's why those three guys are not three of my favorites but it is what it is i'm just just personal preference i'm just i just really i prefer to the, listen the, the to the baby every single right. verse is i just fucked your bitch she came sucked me off i got six watches right i mean that's chance. that's a lot of the, <laughs> the, every the verse, baby every single verse i, I prefer Everybody like say, had it in their bag though. i want to listen to your music and i want to know who you are like by the end of it like <laughs> or not even necessarily like know who you are right now but know where you came from like talk about like before how you got it now all of that shit i want to hear like all mesh together like really understand who that person is because i think that's what like the artistry is it's like how do you I don't know, how do you do art if not if you're not putting a piece of yourself in it, you know? Um, it's just generic at that point. So I, I that's why I don't I don't I don't uh, like it or gravitate to that as much. It's just something that I can't do. Mm. Yeah. I don't mind both. It's it's cool I'm sometimes not like, and for a single I'm not looking, yeah. When I listen, listen to the baby, I'm not looking to get some introspective storytelling situation. I'm looking for right. a pop. Right. That's why I'm getting it. Well, like, so give me that every time. I'm looking for that from Future. But even if you really listen to Future, you can hear some shit in his life. You be like, "Oh, well, he going through some shit. He fucked up about." You know what I'm saying? Like, that's you get that from the baby sometimes. Not often. I got to say, I, been out a I, get, I can really recall one song, or maybe it's really. Mm -hmm. I guess it would have to be on that one project where I feel like, oh, I actually got a peek into the baby's life. Otherwise. 
it's just a bunch of, like I, I said, generic been, rap um, cap There's been attention. necessary moments that we've seen in the baby's career already where he addresses them in his music. His shim shim having him killing a dude in, in Walmart. He talked about that with some songs. Him losing his dad the same year. He talked about that. He named his album Kirk after his dad. The brother thing the same year. He talked about these things every time something real happens to him. But then he goes right back to giving you a hit again. Which is what makes it the money. So he gives you, that, he don't he gives you a there. piece of what he's talking about. He's not giving you laying out his whole full life, per se. Yeah, he but does. He, he taps on some things that you can't Sometimes. run away from. Like, oh, your dad died. Your brother died. You kill somebody in the Walmart. Like, you got to talk about this shit. <laughs> like, not you know as not as often. And then that, that Walmart shit, he just mixes that in with the rap cap type shit. Like, because it is. That's not rap cap like, if it happens. I'll put that boy up. Like, <laughs> it's, not, it's not rap cap. I'm just saying it kind of just goes into that all rappers are catching bodies type thing. But it kind of goes into that. catching one is, is, is different. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> He's mentioned that as many times as Logic talks about being black. That's in every song he does, too. Oh, well, all right. What's the way? All, I think it's a of, different thing. All, it's a yeah, different you, dynamic. You're right. He, he, 50, he, he has, talk about 50 getting shot nine times for the first six years of his career. Yeah, like, he, he has <laughs> given some of these examples or whatever, but I'm just saying, I I think he can do more because it's like, all right, you didn't kick the door open at this point. Right. He's one of the biggest pop stars in rap. It's like he's only second to Drake as far as pop goes in, in, in rap. So um, <clears throat> I just, I mean, just. Come on, you can give me more life stories. Give me more like in depth. Uh, really, really dig into your to your to your artistry bag, and uh, I, I'm just expecting more for the baby because the way he paints a picture when he raps, he can he, he can certainly uh, you know put us in in perspective of how he grew up or his life stories and stuff like that very easily. I think you know he could it would just elevate him. That's all I'm saying. Really? It would elevate him in my book. I guess we're just gonna do this with the baby every year now. What's the say? I'm giving proof again. <laughs> no, I mean I'm giving them all the props that I can. Yeah, at the same and time, at some I'm just point saying, it's gonna I'm, be like, all right, this is this is just what he is, though. At some point, I don't yeah, think, I mean, I don't that, think too that, far that, from it getting to it. Like, all right, this is who the baby is, and that's fine too. I think, we've been, I think that's been it already. Yeah. I just personally am tired of him. It, it's a personal thing. That's right. all it is. I just I don't respect him, the person, the the baby. Right, so I got a lot of respect for the person. I don't care for. I got a lot of respect for the person, and I like the artist, but I think uh, he could be better. I think it's just something left there for me. It is. Maybe, maybe have some growth. I'll tell you whose uh, catalog I did dig into a little bit this mm -hmm. week. Um, I don't know if y'all familiar with Young and Ace. I heard about who you're talking about. But no, I heard about Florida artist Jacksonville. Right. I, know, I, I shared one of the songs. I don't know if you guys listened to it. <laughs> that giving up um, song. It's, just, it's a new single that he dropped this week. Real, really different. It just it shows me how, how versatile he is. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, I don't know. He kind of went like that. The real like real singing on the hook. So it's probably like the Kid Leroy type thing. That's kind of what it gave me vibes of a little, little bit, something like that. But, I mean, I, I was impressed by that one song. Um, going back and look, listening through his catalog, he sounds a lot like NBA Youngboy uh, mm -hmm. for, the, for the majority of his career. So I really like him stepping out and doing something different with this single. Um, it just shows me that he's looking to grow and, uh, you know, kind of be bigger or not be like – because as long as he keeps making the music like he was before – He'll always be like an NBA young boy type shadow because right. it's like, you know. So explain to me, you love these Florida artists, right? So explain to me what is it about them that you feel is like they elevating what they're doing? Because I feel like they all in the same package to me. I mean, to me, it's uh, the thing that sets them apart right now is just they, they got the melodies. Um, and to go with the melodies, again, they, they're telling their true stories. It's not... A bunch of rap cap, a lot. So I'm ultimately the reason why I'm gravitated towards Florida right now. I think they they are um, the initiators or the innovators of, of culture nowadays in hip hop. I think, like I said, it's uh, it's shifted from like Atlanta to Florida. Like everybody want to do, or the slang, the new slang in hip hop is what you hear comes from Florida. Um, like the swag, everybody want wicks now across across the country. Like you see people. Getting wicks that it, that you know this is a Florida hairstyle type thing. Like I feel like they they're pushing the culture forward. 
but ultimately, um, I just see the versatility in, in, in all of these artists, or a lot of them from Florida, um, with the melodies, and then, uh, like I said, just the the truth and what they speak in their lyrics and stuff. It's like, because they, they all want to be known as like kind of like the realists, you know what I'm saying? So they just telling their true feelings and shit. So that's what I'm like. That's where it kind of like, when you kind of start saying like they elevating and pushing the game and talking about these real things that's happened to them. Is it kind of like, can it be kind of numbing when everybody's real stories is basically the same? No, but they're everybody's the same it. type of street shit. But I guess it's real because they're saying it from that. Like, it doesn't separate them from anything. When we've heard street shit, we heard people talk about guns, everybody got bodies. We've heard plenty of rappers talk about this. Yeah, stuff. right. I mean, so that's, it doesn't that's make it any change. different when it's like, oh, they telling their story, but it's the same story that that man, the rapper. But it's the way talking. they're telling it, though. Like I said, they got, like I said, they got the melodies behind it. And then that, to also you push said the, the melody. You say versatility. We got. I think we got to stop saying like just because people are doing melodies that they versatile. Everybody's doing melodies. It's just what music is but, right now. All right, yeah, so but it doesn't no, make it's versatile when you're doing it, the thing it that everybody does, does. Bro, if you can actually rap and you got the melodies to go along with your rap, then that makes you versatile. And, and then it's also yeah. not it's not just about the the cadence in which you rap. It's the subject matter. These a lot of these Florida dudes they put out like they they look up Kodak of course, <laughs> so they put out like a lot of love songs, like a lot of R and B type songs as well too. Like they're really looking to expand, like. Uh, a whole lot of them, these, these are like just the rawest street niggas in the world, but they want to do songs with Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber's. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really try to diversify. It's the streetest niggas in the world, <laughs> but this is what they want to, this is what they aspire to be. They, You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's all I'm saying. It's like, I guess. Um, oh, no. I, I think, I, I just feel like they, they really are the ones that are, and it's, it's, everybody has that time. It's not always going to stay that way. <laughs> But it's just in Florida right now, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, it's of course we we starts with New York, and then it's maybe moved on to California, and then you know Virginia had a little run for a bit, and you know then it, it really just merged down to the South. Atlanta's held it down for a long time. It's just a natural progression and evolution of music, and like I said, it's just those are the people that's where all the music you just hear all of these these slang shit that everybody's spinning the block now or everybody's spinning bins and shit the motherfuckers in Florida was saying that everybody want uh, people, everybody's people legit now and shit for, like that forever but not spinning <laughs> spinning bins like or they, they used to call them a drive by don't nobody say drive by no more they say they spinning Nobody said that until Florida niggas started saying that. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like they just they the are the ones. Changes. Or capping. Capping comes that's Florida language. Like, and it's everybody says it now. Like, so that's all I'm saying. Is I don't know. It's I feel like they're they're just the ones that are, they're pushing it forward. That's all. So um, I, I like a lot of those artists that come up. But um, but like I said go back to Young and Ace. I think uh, his story is fucking crazy, bro. Dude got he got shot up like eight times in the drive by shooting in the car. Um, and all, it, it was with three other people in the car. Everybody died except for him. Just a pretty like tragic life story that that goes along. Yeah, I think with, I'm just with starting to get turned by these stories. I'm tired of hearing these kids going through this shit, bro. I mean, it's, it's life. Sad. It's, it's sad life. To keep like, all right, I get it. Yeah, it's life. Gotta stop. Something got to change. I mean, <laughs> like, it has to. I can't be then. getting famous because y'all y'all didn't die in the shootout. Like, that's wild to me. <laughs> Things happen like, like that, bro. That's what's giving you your career because you didn't die in a shootout, bro. Get your life together. I mean, he was already an artist <laughs> at that point, but I'm yeah, just saying, I mean, it's just things that happen. That get, them, get people interested, obviously. Yeah, I mean, it certainly is. It's not something that, that hurts, but um, I'm just saying, it's a crazy story, bro. It's a crazy story. And, then, I mean, and, they, and they talk about it, so. Yeah. I'll just say, okay, listen to that Give It Up sequel. Just listen to it. That's all I'm saying. Listen to it. I think it's a, you'll be like, all right, this dude got some talent. Can't Part remember if I did or not. I'm gonna check it out. I don't think I listen to him like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just check it out. Check it out. <clears throat> what else we got? Wale dropped a single. He did. That was fire too. Chris Brown. Sounded really good. Really good. I like the girl, girl Wale, Wale records. Angles. Those. Yeah, Doing yeah. Doing those. Talk about sneakers and girls. Still what I like. That's his lane. <laughs> Still what I like. That's his lane for sure. He's great at it. He is. He's a killer. And putting Chris Brown on anything is always a good look. Of course. Because Chris Brown been on like a hiatus for a while. 
He kind of been quiet. Oh, really? He's really not Chris Brown. He ain't putting that out since he dropped that 40, 40 song album like last year or year before. Chris Brown don't have to do anything <laughs> for the rest of his life. I mean, of course, but I like that he's he took a little step back so people can like miss him a little bit. I think he was like going hard for like the last three, four years with records. Yeah, Chris yeah, Brown yeah, been looking back bad. a little bit, huh? He's looking bad out here, dog. I've seen a few of those. He look like, looked like the Thriller video off this motherfucker. Yeah, that's that's smoke that's cigarettes, He looked like Soldier Boy It always here. bothers me when rich motherfuckers still smoke cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. You like, filthy rich still smoking nasty-ass cigarettes. There's so many other things. Your life you ain't that do. bad. It's like, yo. What, like, what? Your life ain't that bad. No, yeah, it's not. You are rich enough to afford them. <laughs> I could say that, though. No, no. Because anybody else out that. here really can't afford cigarettes. I, I don't see how. <laughs> I was like, if you, you try to make money, right if, if you smoke a pack of cigarettes, no common man should be able to go afford what you still smoke. I don't know. If you it's smoke a, a pack or two a day, I don't, I don't see how you can afford cigarettes. I don't get it. Expensive fast. Bro. A pack or two a day, bro? That's I like, it's the cigarettes, $10 some places a pack. I don't know. I don't get how you can afford it. Like, to me, it's illegal where you live. Yeah. <laughs> Like you want to spark something, spark a joint. Why are you sparking you know, cigarettes? I, honestly, <laughs> man, weed is a, a lot of the times is why people smoke cigarettes or so get a, get addicted to them. You know, you know, a lot of people who they they, they smoke oh, weed, no, they feel like we're not doing weed they feel like the gateway. No, they feel like the you tobacco cigarettes because you want to smoke no, cigarettes. No, no, they feel like the tobacco <laughs> boosts their high. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, I'm there. So kid. that's why I think that's why a lot of people yeah. smoke cigarettes and then they get like addicted to it. I could see that. I could see that happening. But uh, I mean, yeah, Maybe. I don't get it. To me, it's one of the things. It's like, ugh, you it's disgusting. Go, bro. And you're it's a disgusting. singer, bro. I always thought smoking like affects singers. Obviously, like as I've gotten older, I learned that all the singers that they said didn't smoke was smoking like a motherfucker. <laughs> the moment when we was growing up, we used to hear about singers like getting insurance on their voices and they can't be around smoke because they gotta sing and do all that shit. I used to believe that shit until I got What's older it? and learned about Whitney Houston. Yeah, she's smoking crap. <laughs> like, Carolina, she's like, she had an angelic voice. Well, I mean, yeah, she was smoking. It took a toll on her shit by the end. I mean, yeah, she basically. couldn't. She couldn't blow no more. This like is she used to. But I mean, look, I don't know. Hey, um, hey, do what you do, Chris Brown. But you know, he's, hey. he's looking pretty bad out here. Last time I saw him. Man, just put them cigarettes down, Chris. Fuck. What did y'all think about that XXL list? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It was a solid list. You got more Ray, um, Blast on there. But for the first time in a while, I know a lot more of the artists on the, on the list this year. Yeah, Pooh Shiesty, Corey LeRae. Corey's uh, nice. Um, Ray, Ian Dior, Lakia, DDG, 42. 42. DDG just knocked somebody out on Friday. Ruby Rose, Blast, Pooh yeah. Shiesty, and in, two, in a TikTok YouTube fight. Did y'all hear about that? Yeah. <laughs> I did. I didn't know that person was involved. He got that iCarly song out right now, or iCarly Freestyle. It's fucking I, awful. I never heard none of his music. I don't know that. I, he, he used to be a YouTuber. And okay. then he just started recording music or whatever. I, I think he cool with like um, YBN, J Almighty or whatever, or something like that. But uh, I feel like that iCarly Freestyle, whatever they dropped, is it's really just... They play the iCarly theme song in the beginning, and then the beat drops, and he starts rapping. The rapping is very like, almost give me like a blue face type of. It's awful. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. um, he's he's more on beat than blue face. Just kind of like the way he approaches it, I guess. I, I'm, I'm I didn't I turned it off probably after. Y'all think seconds. these uh these celebrity fights are here to stay? Oh, because um, it's becoming like a thing now. Like it's smaller leagues, situations, you know, fight nights um, going YBN, on. J Almighty and, to and, fight. and Namir, they yeah. they want to get. In, well, he's challenging Namir to get in the, get right. into the ring or whatever. Right. But I don't know if the response has ever been. It's becoming uh, a thing now. It's kind of crazy. I'm I'm all for for celebrities. Like I want to see guys who actually have an issue, not just like a money grab. <laughs> I want to see people who actually have an issue that get in there cool. and settle their differences yeah. in a boxing ring. That's, how That's what be. we want to see. You know, Big Soldier started this. He was supposed to fight Chris Brown. Remember a long that? time ago. When he was supposed to fight? Because it was me for Boy, <laughs> they would both look sickly if they were to do that shit now. They, that shit would probably look awful right now. This is wild. I think um, Charlamagne was hosting the joint last week with the TikTok and YouTubers or whatever. And Lil Baby came on there. He, he asked him, like, you think some rappers would try to get into this celebrity fighting thing? He was like, yeah, that'd be dope. 
Yeah, he's like, no, nah, but y'all gonna really, oh, y'all gonna really do it though. You saying it right now? Yeah, y'all yeah, rappers said, no, really no. gonna get in the ring and fight. He's like, no, I think I think people will do that. Well, There's a lot of people that will probably well, watch the ring so. for real. Exactly. Come on, I, that's what I would want to see. The baby will get in there. Everybody baby. got guns. Everybody got guns. I got my money on Let's the baby see y'all versus anybody. Let's see y'all get in that box a little bit. I'm going the baby versus anybody. Yeah, the baby's gonna knock. I tell you, who won't get in the ring. I tell you two people who won't get in the ring. Little baby gets little little baby knocked right. out. I, I would, I would <laughs> give it if it was yeah, J Cole, J Cole. I would uh, give I it to hands. Um, anybody versus Meek is a win. <laughs> Why do you think Meek? Anybody fight? versus Meek is a win. You just don't him. like Meek. No, no, you don't know that. You don't know that Meek. You see the boxing videos? The box he is awful, bro. He can't throw a punch. He throw a punch like a girl. It no was, offense. It was bad. Hey. I know. I see some. My daughter throw a better punch. No it's shit. Just, no, like real bad. shit. My daughter throw a better punch than me. Might look ugly. It might sting though. No. That motherfucker might sting. That's your telegraph, bro. You gonna see it coming a mile away. You be like, oh, big. What was you doing? Sting, Did you just bro. throw that shit overhand, bro? What you just, you, doing, you, you just try to hit me in the top of my head. Bro. I don't know if he can fight. He probably can't fight. Anybody versus me is a dub. It's, it's a, minus like Takashi maybe, but Takashi said he wanted to smoke. That's the one I want to see. Meek and Takashi, they should step in the ring. That would be fun. They should step in the ring. Meek would knock Takashi out. I don't know, bro. Meek would knock Takashi out. That would be fun. Takashi really doesn't look like he's a Wouldn't it be a terrible look if it went the distance though? What if it, even if he went the distance, wouldn't that be a terrible look? Oh, like a Logan Paul win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he could survive. Even if he just got beat up. We should see this. I'm fully in. Yeah, they got to get some rappers in there. Just be Takashi versus everybody. Yeah. King of the Hill. But you know, it's never going to be the A-list rappers. It's always going to be like the C. They got too much to lose. D-list type rappers that you got too much to lose, they step in their ring. Get in the ring. Drake will never. Drake won't even step in a rap battle ring. Definitely stepping in a fucking fight. He, he has hosted some rap battles. Yeah, he ain't stepping in the yeah, race. He's hosted some. <laughs> I was singing with the, um, at the rap battle last weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, he was talking to them and shit. Gave some money up for the winner and all this. Yeah, yeah. He, he big on the, especially like the Canadian rap battle scene. I know he used to always uh, be at those events and stuff like that. King of the Doc. Yeah, he was Yeah, him. yeah, 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 yeah. I used to hate them. He called that Mook that one time. Never said nothing else since, though. What happened? Remember the time they was trying to get him and Murder Mook to battle? Oh, oh, that would have been awful. Yeah, it was all talk. <laughs> well, Drake would eat Drake, somebody alive Drake, in the rap battle. Why do you think that? Against Murder Mook? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. He would kill Murder Mook in the rap battle. Rap battle is close. different than rapping on a beat, bro. Yeah, this but is a I mean, it's situation. <laughs> I mean, look, but that shit don't change. If you witty, then you witty. Like, he would he would eat him alive, bro. Like I'm telling you, it wouldn't it wouldn't be close. Wouldn't Honestly, be close. why you would think that though? You, because already, all right. So you gotta have like the stage presence in the rap battle. We know that Drake already has that. He can command the crowd. That's not a problem. He's quick with it, like with it. So he he can have a rebuttal response. Oh yeah, he's, he's um, a great rapper. Freestyle. Why do you think he could be a great rapper against <laughs> great rap battlers, bro? We right. know he's a great I don't, I don't, It's a it's a different kind <laughs> of like. He would have the crowd on, uh, his, on his Yeah, side. it's a different kind of. So, art, right. But he would have the bars to to to, you know, to put in there. Like you know, he'll get somebody to write it. Bro, we, 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 we gotta <laughs> stop, bro. Cause he, everybody act like Drake's not a creative. Like he is. He, nobody ever said that. I'm just saying, bro. He can write his own rhymes, and he can he's definitely prepare for a rap battle. He's he's not can, creative. He got the tape. He got this, uh, the the stage presence. He has the acting skills to carry out whatever uh, props or, or themes that he wants to throughout the entire thing. He's funny. It, I, it, that probably was the biggest thing about it. Like Drake's funny as fuck. He would kill somebody off of that. Did alone. you see him when he hosted the ESPYS that year? That was probably some of the worst jokes I've ever heard of. I thought it was life. pretty good. That's like what I remember. I was thinking, <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. You know, I'm not a Drake guy, but I thought he killed it. Oh no. Yeah, bro. I, I thought mean, it was kind of bad. Bro, it's kind of corny, bro. Anyway, but like, yo, if you could, if you could kill somebody, Murder Mook's not funny at all. He's gonna give you a bunch of like gumball or some shit. If you can kill somebody with jokes in a rap battle, it's over. Yeah. It's not even gonna be close. Well, he's stepping in that ring, so I, I, don't, I don't expect him to. Right. Exactly. Uh, but I think you be asking for it. If, uh, if he, if he, if he if you, felt fuck with Drake, like you'd be asking if he, for if, he, if he felt like you feel about him, I'm pretty sure he would have stepped in that ring by now. 
It's what, what's what's the the benefit for Drake? It's well. Z-Love's rap battle. Why not? You, you, like, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. <laughs> it's a rap battle. You love pay, rap battle so much. Rap you battle couldn't pay ring. Drake enough. You would have to pay Drake five hundred k, probably a million dollars to even oh, think about think a rap battle. It had to be a money grab oh, thing. I don't even think it had to be a money thing. I would murder think. Mook, bro. What you mean? I guess a murder mook. If murder mook lost to serious Jones, what the fuck does he have to do? Oh, he's not, he's not, what? Why the fuck would Drake battle him? You know what, what I'm saying? Come on, bro. I feel you. I'm yeah. saying that if he felt like you did, he would have did it by now. That's all I'm saying. Just saying. <laughs> That's man. all I'm saying. Just if it was so easy, such a breeze to go on down with it. We got to stop, man. We got to stop with this. this all right. Is, I get it. Right. So Hitman Hollow could be drinking a bit. No, he wouldn't, bro. He would get stepped on. About Hitman Hollow. He would get stepped <laughs> on. He might. Hitman Hollow Surf. is nice, though. Sue Surf could be drinking a bit. It's a different craft to rap battling, bro. Somebody can make a fool of drinking that. But you get, you get three months <laughs> to prepare. I'm giving it to Drake, bro. He, like and said, another, he, another thing about, 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 about being in a guys. rap battle is knowing your opponent more than the other one. Get rid of that some shit. We people know so much shit about Drake. It's so many jabs that you could take at him at this point. Then you would, then he would be able to take about any of those sort of rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a bunch of old shit that people that of course somebody's right already brought up before. But I don't know. Uh, people <laughs> people used to say that shit about Drake when he like. Oh, I, I mean, I don't know if Drake can can get on the track and diss somebody. And he's showing that he's capable of doing that, and it, it works out. He's showing he can lose too. I mean, look, Get his uh, we, we've been we've been down that road before, but Drake says he, when, he dropped, cool when, he, when he dropped when he dropped a diss track though, the, the diss tracks have been very very good records. We got every samples. single one of them. We got samples this week. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got time. Yeah. I'm just saying the, the diss tracks have been Drake very good. Appreciation of time. We, we got it. We got it. That's yeah, yeah, one win. That's not the one, but we got samples. Yes. <laughs> well, it's, it's I got a sample. I do too. Oh, yeah, hey, you too. Oh, yeah, yeah. You too. Till next time. Till next time. We appreciate you listening, watching, whatever you do. We'll be back next week. Yes, indeed. Peace. Peace. Got extra cheese. <laughs>